<laughs> Sony's comments. <laughs> Boom. What's up, guys? No. Kimberly in the house. What's going on? What's up? <laughs> he said, we're all supposed to start clapping and chanting, make it Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my my uh, my StreamYard chat is always backed up. It's, it's always late. It's, uh, it's a freaking pain in the ass. I know the, the lag is crazy because I have it open and it's still not even showing on here. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there we go. Wow, this. All right. So, what's up, Kim? What's going on, man? Long time no see. I miss no. you, dude. I know you. I know you're busy. Just got a little time off of work. I'm like. Psh. I'm gonna stay up past my bedtime tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I always do. I'm gonna stay up past my bedtime tonight. <laughs> um, Hold on, let me, let me, no, that was me. That was me. <laughs> oh, that, that was you. That was me. I'm I'm trying to read the chat because uh, the um, the stream yard kind of sucks, man. It's it's always late on the chat. And um, what's up, everybody? Go ham, Rob. Yeah, I was hoping to get some snow, man. While I'm off off work, I want to get some snow, and I want to go sledding. That's all I want. It's a it's a bunch of snow before I gotta go back to work. <laughs> so I can go sledding. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. It's uh. <clears throat> I don't think I see. Uh, I mean, by your way, it should be different, but and we got some hill. Like, uh, there's a hill close by. Like, we could just walk through some woods. Going, but I want to uh, do yeah. the real deal. I want to do a video of like I want to travel a little bit. I, I know a spot. <laughs> <laughs> know a spot, and I, I got to go to that spot. And I'm just waiting for the right snow to make the right video because I don't know. I'm gonna build a ramp and everything. <laughs> All right, yeah, <laughs> I uh, I miss I miss some fun in the snow. My my lady's not really uh, she's not that type. She <laughs> she cannot do the cold, no snow, and the most fun I have is freaking removing it at work, and <laughs> that's not that much I fun. Found some 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 awesome sleds at Goodwill, so I'm just really. I'm really wanting to put them to use. Some airwalk. I don't know if you remember airwalks, man. Back in the day, growing up, like uh, we were in the skateboards, me and my brother, and airwalk was the brand. Like we had our airwalk shoes, <laughs> and we went into Goodwill and found some airwalk sleds. And my son, he's only six, but I'm like, you don't even know <laughs> we're getting these rugs. So I want to try out these airwalk sleds. And go ham, you're wrong on all kinds of levels. <laughs> <laughs> the Browns are gonna win. I know you're a Steelers fan. I'm, I'm nervous, but Browns going in. Uh, what's up with the? Uh, see, this is this is why. Uh, I, I, these guys have been making fun of me about my horrible feet, and it's not. <laughs> I I said feed. I said my feet looks horrible because I got my picture quality set to one forty four p here, and it looks like shit. So that's been. Well, I, I can't change it now, so <laughs> it's gonna have to stay shitty. At least the, uh, I mean, it looks straight to me. I like. I'm looking. No, at no, it's, it's just the playback on my on my tablet. I mean, I, there's like a lag. Like if somebody asks a question, 
Oh, no, yeah. By the time you answer it, they're going to be like, what is he talking about? Yeah. It's, not, it's not the actual stream. It's the, uh, no, I'm just it's the tablet. You know, the... Uh, it's the setting on the tablet is just what I'm watching. Hey, Zeus, what's up, man? Uh, <clears throat> All right, I give up on this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me say what's up to some people in the chat then um pontons pepper powder what's up pontons i got i got some tincture man from uh pontons pepper powder have you have you tried some tincture uh crazy kimberly yeah yeah i have yeah <laughs> some are brutal man oh I'm, no, 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 no. I mean, yeah, but not not pepper. Not no. Yes and no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've tried yeah. I heard some. about I heard about other type of tinctures. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've these tried are pepper, pepper tinctures, yeah. and uh, this is some of Ponton's. It's this one's a lemon maruga. Oh damn! And uh, yeah, they can be brutal. I. I I tried some that really, really put me on my ass. Yeah, I've I seen enough like videos to where like I, I'll probably stay away from those. This one is just Maruga. I, I saw him comment. And uh, yeah, the other one, the big bottle is lemon. I also got a cool sticker from him. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was wearing the shirt. I got the T-shirt, but uh, since you came on, I I, I threw on your T-shirt. Huh. But I will wear my Pontons Pepper Powder T-shirt before I do uh, one of these tinctures. And uh, that's sweet. I'm gonna. I'm, gonna I'm looking at it the like that's why I'm looking at the big screen and looking at the little screen. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my sticker up here somewhere. No, KK, do you have a CFL on a mic stand behind you? No, it's it's a CFL. It's on a. Um, which is, I'm trying to see which one you can see back there. Oh, it's on. It's a photo lights. Three lights on a <coughs> light stand, but I do have a mic. On a mic stand. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, that's a it's just on a light stand. So let's see, uh nearby pantry. Black Mamba is here. Remember Black Mamba? Black Mamba's been around since forever. I remember Black Mamba. And um I saw his comment, he says uh Maybe he'll finally win something this year. <laughs> I hope you do, man. I hope you do. And a hey, nearby I, pantry, what's up? I brought the hottest hmm. item on the planet to show. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What oh, you got? Yeah. Prepare yourself because this is, <laughs> this is serious. So I have here Pringles Scorching Barbecue. <laughs> oh, I saw the video. No, no, the the video was the cheddar ones. No, oh, not, okay. no, actually, they they they're like hot Cheetos are are these are called scorching. The hot Cheetos are hotter than these things. And uh, I I saw uh, uh, your last upload was eating a, a piece of gum, the Cleveland Browns. Uh, yeah, I had a pack of 1970s Cleveland Browns gum, and I, as a tribute, I ate, I was just going to, so it started out to where I was just talking, like, if they made it to the Super Bowl, I, I'd eat a pack of 1970s, eat a piece of the 1970s gum, <laughs> and then they made, I was like, all right, screw it, if they make it to the playoffs, well, then, like, they made it to the playoffs, so I was like, screw it, and I didn't, at first, I was just going to eat one piece, because I wasn't sure what I was in for, 
And then, I don't know, I got in the moment. <laughs> I went all in. I ate like the whole damn pack. Yeah, so that I, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. I'm like, oh shit, this, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. It was 1970. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. So, uh, uh, whoever whoever's here doesn't know Crazy Kimberlyn, please. Uh, one of you guys that uh, does know Crazy Kimberlyn, please grab his link uh, to his channel and and please drop it in the in the comment section in the Thanks, chat. So uh, <clears throat> I really appreciate it if you guys uh, subscribe to Crazy Kimberlyn and Kimberlyn, you're you're new. You got a new channel also. I started a new one just because I want to do like more stuff with like family and my son is getting older. He's he's really into video games. He wants to be like a professional YouTuber and stuff. So like I was like, all right, I'm gonna start a new channel just so like to involve him, the family, and like vlogging and like we've been doing some video game challenges to where like I did the the latest packy chip. I did if he did like so many things on Fortnite in a certain amount of time I would eat the packy chip. So I put that on that channel, eating the, the packy chip. And then, like, I did want another one eating hot sauce with, with the video game challenge that he had to do. So I'm just, like, mixing up him playing games and, and challenges. But, like, there's, like, vlogging and stuff on there, too. So it's something different, something new. So I don't know. I'm still doing stuff on this channel, too, the Crazy Ch Kimberlin channel. All right. Could you find your new channel and put it in the chat? Yeah. It's... It's just a uh, crazy Kimberlin family is the only difference. Here, let me see. Cool. Um, uh, Gapy's Grub is here. What's up, Paula? Good to see you. Michelle Tran. Michelle Tran is putting up her Packy One Chip Challenge uh, for a giveaway tonight. So uh, you guys get to uh, take a shot at that. And uh, of course, uh, the winner of the one, uh, the Packy One Chip Challenge is required to come on here and eat that chip. It's, <laughs> it's not gonna be, you know, just take the chip and go on your way. You have to come here and eat that freaking chip, all right? And I'm gonna note that in the video. <laughs> In the video to enter, uh, yeah, I will. I will remind you that you will need to come on here and eat that chip. So, uh, Billy Nelson is here. What's up, Billy? Good to see you, man. I don't Heck, know if that link works or not. Go, but... <laughs> Jimmy Espinoza, Jimmy, I just sent the package out to you today, and. Uh, I can't, uh, Reddit is kind of suck because in messages you can't send the picture. I guess I could copy the tracking and, and, and type it in, but I, I usually take a picture of the receipt and send it. And, uh, you're only on, you're only on Reddit, right? You're not, you're not on, uh, on Instagram or anything like that. <laughs> Carolyn, what's up, Carolyn? Good to see you. Hope you're having a great night, Carolyn. And Marjorie's here. What's up, Marjorie? Marjorie is doing the three stockings. We're a little late on that. They're Christmas stockings. They have peppers on the fabric. And uh, <laughs> how's that? Hot? <laughs> <laughs> They're the same as the others, right? That's so, like so uh, Marjorie, those are uh, compliments of Marjorie there. The three stockings, they have seeds inside. She had a, an awesome giveaway in the pepper groups that included more than just seeds, but these... These three stockings, they're just the stockings themselves, and they have uh, 10 varieties of seeds inside, I think. And also, 
tonight we have uh, two pepper donkey seed packs uh, one from William Leitner and one from uh, Joseph and that is uh, you'll see him here as RC man and uh, John John Tegita John Tegita jr. What's up, man? Good to see you uh, John Tegita. I got something going out to you also uh, You know for being a member of the channel too. So yours is going out soon. I'm almost done uh, shipping to the members and uh, Got another five packages out today Boss Gross is here. What's up, Boss Gross? Um, uh, Michael Edwards is here. What's up, Michael? Good to see you. Nate Mitch. Nate Mitch uh, also sent the package out to Nate Mitch today and Amanda together. And there he is, RC Man1223. That is uh, one pepper donkey seed packs, uh, courtesy of uh, RC Man. And Joe, uh, uh, Joseph, Joseph, uh, uh, yeah, yo, Batman, what's up, Joseph? Good to see you, man. And, uh, Boricua Grower is here. What's up, Boricua Grower? Good to see you, man. Michelle Tran and Jimmy Pickles Pepper Channel. What's up, Jim? Good to see you, my man. Hope you're doing good. Siempre is here. Siempre, how you doing? And Rob Schaller, my man, Rob. <laughs> I got it. I've been trying to send Rob something since like forever i'm gonna have to uh, include rob in my next round of shipping because rob shadow is always here he's a great supporter man and uh xander i saw something about this on reddit and was curious so here i am uh xander welcome and thanks thanks for checking out that on reddit and giving it a chance we're having uh tonight a uh, one chip challenge giveaway we're giving away two uh two pep donkey seeds pack and also uh three stockings uh, each have uh, 10 varieties of seeds also and there's my good friend divine tiffany Hello, Tiffany. How you doing? Hope you're having a great night. Hope you had a great holiday. And uh, Divine Tiffany's uh, also been a friend for a long time. She does uh, tarot card readings and cool stuff on her channel. If, uh, if you guys want to check out Divine Tiffany, that would be cool. I appreciate that. Uh, Zeki is here. What's up, Zeki? Good to see you, my man. Hope you're good, having a great night. Doug P is here. Doug P gave away a, a grow light last week, and uh, that was pretty cool. Also, some seeds. Goham, what's up, Goham, my man, right there. And Jesus Rosario is here. What's up, Jesus? Good to see you, brother. Uh, Tori Seaman is here. Jordan here. Shout out to my dad. Awesome show. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Oh, this is uh, this is my daughter. This is uh, my stepdaughter, Jordan, and that is that is her uh, boyfriend, Tori, which I met uh, right before New Year's. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, thanks for. Thanks for checking us out. <laughs> uh, thank you. Love you guys. Um, <clears throat> yes, <laughs> I'm like Jordan. <laughs> uh, all right. 
right, I think I'm caught up with everybody here. Baked on Star Wars is here. What's up, Baked on Star Wars? Good to see you, man. And John Dominique is back. What's up, John? Good to see you. Um, Jesse Go, Jesse Go. Uh, Jesse Go won my hot sauce last week, man. <laughs> I got a, and I owed him some seeds from before also. So, uh, hope you're doing good, Jesse. Good to see you. And, uh, wow, I am really backed up. Raymond Allen, Raymond Allen. What's up, Raymond Allen? I don't know why Raymond Allen didn't have a, uh wrench before now you do joseph pates joseph pates what's up joseph um oh wow i'm just catching up to where there's put in the your link in the chat <laughs> <laughs> this is way back salimon sal what's up sal good to see you man and uh Let's see, who else? Did I miss anybody? So yeah, Crazy Kimberly's uh, channel is there in the chat. Please, uh, uh, Anthony P didn't have a, didn't have a wrench. Uh, yeah, check out tra uh, Crazy Kimberly, please. Uh, his channel will not disappoint. He's he, he is the spokesman for Fuego Box. Check out his videos and all the awesome hot sauces from Fuego Box. Hey man, speaking of Fuego Box, so so every single month on their website, like I review the three sauces separately of the month, and then usually they upload them to their site. There hasn't been one yet this month because they accidentally sent me the same three sauces as November. Oh, <laughs> or, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it's the beginning of January, so I'll be getting the real December sauces, and I'm going to do a review for those, and then January's will come. But, yeah, you can see all those on there. I'm, I think I'm going to start uploading them to my Crazy Kimberlyn channel. I never do because they always put them on their website, and I just feel like they're so short and to the point. And there's no, like, not a lot of editing or nothing. It's just, it's directly just about the sauces or whatever. So I don't know if people's interested in that, in that or not. So I usually don't put them on mine. But I think I'm going to I'm gonna start just throwing them on there just to have yeah, some. I think you should. That would, I mean, that would be good for them to not. Yeah. Well, not and that's how I originally started anyways channel. was me doing them and putting them on my channel or whatever. But. Yeah, so I'm, I'm probably going to start throwing them on there. I might even put the past ones on there. Like, I mean, I have October, November's, like all the past months of hot sauces, like three sauces per month. Like I have in folders on here. I could just upload them, but I send them to them and let them do what they want with them. Yeah, I think that would be cool, man. I, I mean, all of us that, that uh, watched your channel and – and your videos, I mean, we we were there for the hot sauce, man. <laughs> you know, and you know, I'm on a lot of other things. It might be like like two minutes long, no shake, shake, no nothing. Just like they, it's a it's a different type of ordeal than right than what I normally do, like in my videos. But but still, yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna throw them on there. All right. Jay Wong is here. What's up, Jay Wong? Happy New Year's to you. Uh, <clears throat> all right, I gotta, I gotta catch up to this. Oh, uh, Rob Shiler says he has something for me. Awesome, man. I'll message you. Yeah, I've been meaning to send you something, Rob. I got, I got a ton of hot sauce and always been meaning to and didn't get to i didn't have my last batch was like one one flavor hot sauce right now i got four 
uh, Crazy Kimberlin, if you if you don't mind, I, I would I would send one uh, also to you. Oh, bring it. But uh, you know, no video required. You no, man, bring for it. your enjoyment. Hey, I know so, you're busy these days. <clears throat> hey, so okay, not to get off topic, but when you like for the plants you put outside or whatever, when do you start your seeds? Well, you're in a different area too, though. But, uh, yeah, I mean, because I, I feel like February seems too soon, but March seems too late to where I'm trying to find that. Well, I guess what I'm getting at here is I'm I'm gonna try the Hell's Bells again. Yeah, the the well, original seeds that you gave me, the originals. All right, listen. <laughs> okay. I kind of lost shapes on those, and. Uh, Cause I was getting some good ones, man. I I got some seeds of some good ones, like good ones. And I I admit they're probably better than what I sent you last time because these these actually have the shape that, that I'm trying to get them stabilized to. You know what I mean? Well, if you want to so send, if you don't them, mind, I, I can send you these these new seeds. Yeah, man, I, I want to do a video doing doing try like I, don't I, know, I, I love so, like throwing it and then doing a video of of like how they turned out, you know. But I didn't get a chance to 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 do too many last year, but this year I'm gonna make it a point to like I'm gonna. I had all these peppers last year and I didn't do any videos, and I don't want to do that this year. I want to make sure I do videos for them. All right, so uh, <clears throat> Russell Stewart is here. What's up, Russell? It's my man right there. SoundQuest, SoundQuest Rob is here. And Cat Army is back. Cat Army, uh, uh, I, I got your info to Russell, I believe I did, right, uh, Russell? Did I, give you, did I give you Cat Army's info? Uh, I hope I did. And Reggie's here, and I have a new, uh, I have a new channel member here, uh, Dan Jennings. Pretty damn cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to find it down here. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, StreamYard sucks. I swear. <laughs> I never even heard about StreamYard until you told me about it today. I never even heard of it. But I yeah, mean, yeah. it was I, easy to get on here, though. I I uh I kind of like it, and I've stuck with it because it, it's simple to use. You know, I get I get. Uh, you know, invites and people can join is so easy. You don't need like even yeah. remember remember it was Hangouts before. Oh, that's what I was asking you earlier. Like, what is that app again? Because <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, they they, okay. uh, they kind of cut off Hangouts from from being used on uh, YouTube. So, I mean, the 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 Messenger still exists, but you can't use it to for YouTube. So StreamYard came along. It was a lot easier than the OBS. You, you got to be like a, you got to be a computer wizard, in my book, to uh, use OBS. Yeah, it's like not, I figured out not this simple. Like very basic things, but like I see people really go all out with that. Not I'm I'm I didn't give it that much of I don't know I didn't give it that much time to try to figure it out. So Dang Jennings, uh, thank you very much, man. Dang Jennings just joined the channel, and uh, I will include you in our uh, channel members uh, shipping that I've been doing. I'm sending out some hot sauces and stuff. Awesome, Seki. Sent out some bloody riots. Those bloody riots are, are really hot, man. And with Pandy's here. What's up, and with and uh, beam me up, Scotty's here. What's going on, brother? 
Did you say bloody riots? Yeah, that's a pepper. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pepper, bloody riot, man. It, it was, <laughs> it's a it's a pretty gnarly looking pepper too. And oh man, yeah, that sounds that sounds scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I grew one and like. One of the first ones that came on, this thing had like thorns and shit, <laughs> like these these spikes. I'm like, holy crap! Hey, I tell you what, the one I underestimated underestimated the most was the dang little bastard, man. I'm telling you what. Oh, uh, uh, that's I, I, uh, whew. isn't that from Tori Williams? I don't know. I, I forget. I think Who it is. Uh, they sent it to me. I forget. It might have been Dave. Yeah, because Dave is good friends with Tori okay, Williams. So yeah, he that's probably where it came from then. And he sent me the pod and like I, I grew one of them from the seeds and it put out a ton of pods. And man, that I tried that little thing and it, I have a video with it. It it killed me. Like it hurt so bad. It was one of the worst experiences <laughs> at eating a pod, I swear. And it, it, it's a small. I won't eat pod. another one. I know that. It's a small pod, right? What's that? The the little bastard is a small pod, right? It's a. Oh, you're, it's you're cutting pepper. out your feed. I don't know if it's just mine or not. It was doing like it was doing the first time to where. Oh, like, yeah. Mine sounds. I mean, you sound good here. I don't. I don't see. Uh, Maybe it's a. Is anyone else? Having issues here in Batman. Uh, is is my feed horrible? <laughs> They're gonna start with my feed again, and uh, I, I'm gonna have to show these people my feet. Okay, so it's just mine then. Let me see what I got going on. Here. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with my phone, but <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, it's just not working. Check this out. <laughs> oh, wait, but. Oh. There you go. My feet are just fine. You know I got what? cape on my feet. All oh, right. It now it's good. Now it's good. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably just my. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, it might be you. It could be socks. It fixed earlier <laughs> when I lowered my uh, when I lowered the mic volume. I'm not sure if, if that's it, but I don't know. But it sounds good now. <laughs> I probably can't stay on much longer, though. Anyways, I'm man. I'm usually in bed by like 9:30, 10 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to figure this out. Not be after, you know, not going to work tomorrow. Cool, man. Yeah, I got to work tomorrow, so uh, I can't do it. I'm gonna start. Uh, let's see, we're half an hour in, thirty-three minutes. I'm gonna start uh, getting ready because. It's going to be quite a number of giveaways, so what's this? What's this one? Like... <clears throat> Shoot, one of the best giveaways ever that I got was from you guys on this freaking grow light. Shoot, that's still years strong. That's like, that's my... Oh, you got a grow light? From you? Yeah, you guys. It was from Aaron, I think. It was, uh, it was, um... So it was a pepper donkey giveaway and it was uh, a grow light. Like, what was it like two, three years ago, maybe two, three years ago. And I still, I use it every year. That's all I use. Yeah. So uh, to answer your question about the, the start dates, I, I used to start in November actually, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, don't say that. but that was because uh, that was because we do these contests on pepper lovers that 
uh, you know, you can start as early as November. So obviously everybody's dropping seeds November 1st. And uh, yeah, I was doing that, but it, it's such a pain, man, to take care of plants that long. And then you get them, you know, uh, especially the holidays, like, uh, oh man, I neglected so many plants because I'm busy and doing the holiday thing. So yeah, this year, uh, this year I said, you know what, uh, mid, mid January, maybe, maybe February, be beginning of February. But right now we got, uh, we got work being done in the basement and everything that was, you know, we're making the basement like, uh, kind of like livable space, you know, walls, new floor mm -hmm. and everything, because it, it was like a dungeon. And all my storage, all our crap is, is shoved in, in my grow room right now. <laughs> so I can't, uh, I can't really start seeds. I, I can, I, I think I'm gonna have to, because uh, the work is not as fast it's, it's not going as fast as I thought, so uh, I might just, you know, do the like my my tape my middle tables are still there, so I, I might just start there and get it going. But yeah, I think February is 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 a good start. If you, I mean, I don't put them out to like May. You know, because uh, I, I think I'll probably have to shoot for March. <laughs> I don't I, grow that long. I put them out earlier than May, and and this the weather here is unpredictable, man. I got in storms and and cold, like I I've gotten snow on you know like the first day of spring and shit. <laughs> so I'm always afraid to go out too early, you know. So, uh, well, yeah, shit. and hey, man, I'm so I'm probably gonna have to head out. I just wanted to make sure I wanted to make sure I get on here at some point with you while I have the time to and hang out for a minute. It's past my bedtime, maybe <laughs> I don't know, maybe before I will get on again here. I don't know. Do you get on just once a week? Yeah, usually once a week, you know, I don't. The one of pissed off family and shit. On there or something. Huh? Maybe you you can jump on my channel or something sometime throughout the week. Oh yeah, yeah definitely, man. I I we'll will definitely something. try to do that, man. Cool, man. Well, I appreciate you having me on here. Hey, I appreciate hey, you coming on, man. It's been a while. Yeah, like it's good to see everybody again. You. And uh, thank you very much, brother. Heck yeah, you guys. Everybody have a good one. Enjoy your vacation, bro. <laughs> Thanks, man. And I don't even really, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so I might just stay on here all night. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That was crazy, Kimberlyn. Awesome. Uh, one of my good buddies, He's uh, if you don't know him, he's a very cool hot sauce reviewer and... Pepper reviewer, you know, I've known him a couple years and uh, we become very good friends. And he got a new job. He's super busy. So he's been away for a bit. And it's his vacation. So he decided to jump on and say, What's up? So there you have it. His link was in the chat. If you don't know, uh, if you want to check out Crazy Kimberlin, uh, go a little bit back in the chat and uh, check out his uh, channel. So I got, uh, oof. <laughs> I got tincture from from uh, Ponton's Pepper Powder P3. There's a lemon, 
Lemon Maruga, I believe he said it is. Ooh. Let's see. Take a shot, Batman. <laughs> a shot of tincture? No fucking way, Billy. Are you crazy? <laughs> no. Oh, this is a big dropper, man. Look at this. This is huge. I got... Look, it's, it's a little more than half full. So I'm going to try that. But, but first... <laughs> All right. Uh, Carolyn said, let's see the, let's see the feet again. <laughs> There you go. My my uh, my socks got uh, capes on. So when I when I swish across the living room, they're they're flying. You know, they're they're doing their cape thing. And, and those of you that said I got horrible feet, that is not true. My feet are a okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Damn it. There you go. There you go. This is my feet. Normal, all right looking feet. <clears throat> my feet look great. All right. Is my uh, P3 shirt very cool from Ponton Pepper Powder? And um, Ponton has these on his Teespring campaign. Please drop that link to your Teespring. Maybe, maybe somebody in the chat want a cool. P3 robot like this. He's holding, he's holding a pepper, and he's burning, spitting fire and steam out the ears. Probably like I'm about to be with this lemon maruga tincture. Holy shit! I've been drinking too. <coughs> oh shit. Oh tastes great. Oh, and it's hot. It's pretty hot. Oh, but the <coughs> I almost choked on it. It has a Has a very nice uh, lemon flavor. P3 Lemon Maruga. Ah, from Adam Ponton. William Leitner's here. What's up, William? Chad the Warris in the house. What's up, Chad? Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, as we were saying goodbye to Crazy Kimberlyn. I saw my man here, the story of Dory. What's up, man? Good to see you, brother. Thanks for popping in. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure you, uh, I think you don't live stream anymore, uh, do you, uh, story of Dory? Uh, J, JSV, what's up, JSV? <clears throat> Can your feet do the cab claw? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I have to admit that uh, I took this. I took this one pretty well. It's not. It's not scorching hot, but it it does taste great. And uh, what's up, Chad? 
<clears throat> William says, I got my son one. Uh, Mickey versus Reaper Pickles. Uh, Atomic Lemon Drops. <clears throat> yeah, there's uh, I see it's, it's like a meteor. It's like a lemon meteor right there. Uh, it is uh, it is a very nice taste on it. I'm both too old and too young to have Facebook. <laughs> hey, my man's here. Aaron, what's going on, Aaron? Double A. I am in bed, about to fall asleep with the wife, but had to stop by and leave my thumbs up. Thank you very much, man. Uh, <clears throat> good to see you, Aaron. Very good friend of mine, fellow fellow LA Beast moderator. What's up, man? Uh, <clears throat> all right. One more, one more dropper of this awesome tincture. Really does taste good. I should, uh, I think I'm gonna use this on some drinks. Oh, it's good. Nice lemony. Uh, <clears throat> it's not. It's not incredibly hot. I, I've, I have tried some incredibly hot tinctures, but this is this is really good, man. Wow, the lemon flavor is is pretty awesome. <coughs> This one, he says, is just a Maruga only, no lemon. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll do this later on. I had I had some good tinctures. This, uh, C4, this is, I won this in a giveaway. I, I forgot who made this, but this one's from Jared, Sour Apple. I got sour apple from Jared. He he drew a bat on there. Very cool. And this is Devil's Delight. And uh, this was also had a good flavor. This is from uh, this is Fernando Diaz uh, tincture. But uh, Ponton pepper powder. It's really really doing it good right here with this lemon flavor awesome man thank you very much for sending that i'll try uh, uh, uh top chat what <clears throat> are we in top chat no can't be top chat i, I don't think Streamyard has that right did i miss uh it's just that uh, StreamYard is really late on the uh, <clears throat> it's really late on the chat. It's the chat coming like super late. Thanks, Carolyn. <laughs> uh, it's not, you know. Uh, cool. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad those powders made it, uh, Jay. Because uh, I I really took a chance putting them in a 
in the in the greetings card I flattened them I flattened up the, the the little baggies you know just enough to not bulge up and uh, seems like they made it I, I sent powders like that to Canada to Russell Stewart before and uh, you know they got through so <laughs> I figured I'd give it a shot for you Jay I'm glad you're enjoying them and um, <clears throat> thank you thanks for stop stopping in saying hello uh, uh, says it made with virus vodka Uh, <clears throat> let's see, uh, uh, Siempre, uh, received the best birthday gift. Uh, was that, was that your, uh, your grandkid, your new grandchild? Was that your gift? Yeah, it is a risk. It is a risk, but we sow its seeds, <laughs> and but we we put them in the greetings card, you know, little layer of tissue to protect. And I figured, hey, the <clears throat> the greetings card are. The greetings cards are getting through with the seeds, so hey, a, a, a nice little flat bag of powder should make it, and they do. <clears throat> they do. <laughs> they got to Russell. He says shit was tasty, <laughs> and uh, yeah, they got to. They got to uh, they got to J Wong in New Zealand. So the uh, <clears throat> the birthday cards, the greeting cards are a good method to get by customs. And uh, story of Dory says, uh, I have started using hot sauce, but I'll never get to your level of enjoying. <laughs> hey, I, I, you know, it's not always scorching hot sauces that we enjoy. Uh, we do make them hot by popular demand, but <clears throat> I myself, I like mild hot sauce to... You know, a little above mild. Sometimes when they're too mild, you know, we're like, eh, I wish it was a little hotter. But I don't like to uh, scorch up my plate too much. You know, just to eat dinner, <laughs> it's not. It's not always. Uh, you know, it's not always great for me, at least. What's up, Marjorie? Uh, yeah, siempre. Happy birthday to you. We, I, I didn't know it was your birthday. I, I would have, I would have sent something your way, and I, I, I owe you some prizes too. I've been, uh, uh, now I started. Oh, it's not your birthday yet. Uh, oh, your birthday is Sunday. All right. <clears throat> Coolio. <clears throat> well, happy birthday to you. Uh, since we'll, we won't be back on till next week, but uh, I'll be sure to get something out to you. <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah. So, congratulations, Siempre, on the new baby, new grandson. That's pretty awesome. 
Uh, all right, since since we have so many giveaways going on tonight, uh, let's get ready for them. Let's get ready for some. And uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, hold on. I was going to ask Russell. Russell, are you doing anything? Uh, if you're just hanging out. Hey, uh, Dean Big is here. What's up, Dean? Good to see you, man. Up late. <laughs> Good morning. It's morning for you, huh? Yeah, so... Dean, it's good to see you, man. Hope you're doing good. And uh, hope you're not too sleepy because some seeds, uh, we do send seed prices overseas. And uh, <clears throat> <laughs> he says, sorry, I fell asleep. <clears throat> Well, I just dropped the stream yard there in the chat. If uh, if Russell wants to come on, I got got like three more beers, and I'm gonna get ready to do the first giveaway. It's gonna be the one chip challenge, but uh, the one chip challenge is for U.S. only. We cannot ship a one chip challenge out of the US it costs too much money and we can't do that to Michelle because this one chip challenge is coming from Michelle so let's see we got my memory uh, prize uh, Noter here, one chip challenge. Uh, well, uh, yeah, if anybody needs to contact me, the winner, and uh, I'll get I'll get the info over to Michelle. There's Herb Booth. Herb Booth is here. What's up, Herb? What's up, my man? <laughs> Herb. What's up, yo? <laughs> Dad joke, surf fresh daily. Uh, what's going on, Herb? Hope you're doing good, man. You and the family. Curtis. Is this my man, Curtis? Can't believe, can't believe I'm still awake. <laughs> Curtis, is that you, man? What? <laughs> One thing I always love about Curtis, man, he, he calls me fella. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, hey, fella. <laughs> I'm like, all right, very cool. Uh, you know, she control. What's up, man? Uh, hey, Mark Z is here. Hey, the obsessive gardener. Obsessive Gardener, I, I sent the package to you out uh, today, actually. And uh, I, I started watching your video, but I didn't finish. I was in the middle of something. But the Obsessive Gardener, he put out a video on how to make his awesome uh, pepper-infused salt. So uh, go, to the, uh, go to the Obsessive Gardener and check that out. It uh, it's pretty cool. I didn't I didn't think you make salt that way, the infused salt. But it looks like there is a more intricate process. I I I would have I would have said, hey, uh, take some pepper powder, mix it with your salt, and you got pepper infused salt. But it's not so. There is a process to it. Go check out uh, the obsessive gardener for that. 
Uh, Black Mamba says, did I win? We'll see about that because I am about to upload that video where you guys are going to enter. But I will warn you, if... If you win this Packy One Chip Challenge, you have to come on here on panel and eat it. All right? Remember that. Don't go comment if you're not going to come on here and eat this chip. All right? Uh, Michelle Tran says so. She, she needs to see you eat that chip here on panel. All right? All right, Russell, we're here. Uh, let me know when to uh, send that send that uh, chip back. And uh, Paula, Paula just won the internet tonight with that comment. <laughs> she's <laughs> she's gonna send. She's gonna donate. Her chip to Ron. Fuck yeah. We need to see Ron come up here and eat that damn chip. I hope you win, Paula, because we're going to get that chip to Ron. <laughs> oh, uh, Michelle said, no, it's okay. They don't need to come on. All right. Michelle says they don't need to come on and do the chip. Fine. You can do your chip on your own. You can donate it to Ron because <laughs> we all know Ron is not coming on and doing no chip. <laughs> Ron is not... Uh, Ron is not Ron is not gonna be on camera. <laughs> I doubt it. He showed his feet on his uh, seeds and uh, people were speculating like, wait a minute, that's not those are not white men feet. Uh, wait a minute that what's going on there? <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't the best picture, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ron, he did learn how to post pictures. Maybe he'll make it on panel. I'm I'm going to I'm going to get Ron to come on here and and do his uh his Kangstar box set giveaway once it's complete if it's complete. So let's see. Uh. <laughs> oh man, stop that guys. Come on. Give Ron a break. <clears throat> At least they're not bad feet. Ron feet. <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> hey. Uh Obsessive gardener, I, I showed my feet today. All right, I got I got uh, I got some I got cape I got capes on them. You see this? See that? When I run across the living room, them capes are pretty awesome, man. But as you can see. Uh, Oh man. Uh maybe I could crush the chip into powder and hide it in a card <laughs> to send it into action. <laughs> oh man. Uh no worries. There's there's prizes. The the two pepper donkey seed packs, they can go international, so no worries for international members. They can win still just just not the 
just not the chip. So, so there are there are forty three viewers currently right now. I'm about to record the video, but I notice there's only twenty three thumbs up. Please hit the thumbs up if you have a minute. The half of you that haven't, the 20 that have not hit the thumbs up, please do. Thank you very much. And <clears throat> just give me a minute and I will record a video to upload for the one chip challenge. And here we go. <clears throat> Enter here to win Michelle Trans one chip challenge. And she says you don't have to be on the show to eat it. So good luck. All right. Let's upload that. I almost did a second take. That was that was one take. All right, I, I called it uh, Packy Chip Enter. And no, it's not made for kids. Upload. <clears throat> All right. We got an hour to go. Yeah, it's usually three hours, man. I usually hit three hours. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's how long it takes me to do the giveaways. And there's quite a few giveaways tonight. But... Uh, no, no toilet breaks yet. <laughs> no toilet breaks yet. No. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I tell my coworker <laughs> about, about uh, about long toilet breaks. But anyway, uh, I believe that video's up. Let's see. Yeah, upload complete. I think Reggie. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Curtis says, not made for kids. 
My granddaughter got a hold of some brand new toe chocolate one time, just once. <laughs> oh man, that must have sucked. Uh, no, what I meant is uh, now YouTube, when, when you upload a video to YouTube, it asks you if it's for kids or not. It's something, it's some crap that happened or they did, and now you have to do that. But I don't understand because on my channel setting, you can set it that your uploads are, you know, supposed to be automatic set to it's not for kids. So, Steven, what's up, Steven? Good to see you, my man. Man, that is a cute cat. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, there's the link. Uh, Reggie, I believe Reggie is dropping the link to this RC man. No, uh, no. Uh, yeah, Reggie. Yes, there you go. Please. Uh, Reggie is dropping the link for the one chip challenge entry. Uh, please go there and comment to uh, win this uh, chip. I'm about to pick a winner. Let me let me do it on the tablet. It's, it's, it's a little bigger. Cool. Curtis. Curtis. It's not a moderator. Now he is. All right. Uh, I'm going to go see how many comments are there. Go. Go to the link. Go outside my channel. It says Packy Chip Enter. Comment there for a chance to win Michelle Trans Packy One Chip Challenge. Because I'm going to draw a winner. From there, ASAP. All right. There are 14 comments. Only 14 people won the one chip challenge. Fine. Oh, wow. Uh, I kind of want Rob to win. Says, good luck, everyone. If I win, I'll be on the show to eat it. <laughs> that would be awesome. Rob. I almost want to send you my one chip challenge. I'm still holding on to that thing because uh, Russ, uh, Yaya is me. He was supposed to set up this whole one chip challenge stream and with other people. And I don't know what happened, but I still have mine. Uh, tell you what, whoever wins. Uh, if 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 the winner of the one chip challenge comes on here to do it, I'll do mine along with you. All right, uh, Steven, Not sure I want to eat that chip, <laughs> but he entered. John Dominic says, uh, <clears throat> "Here we go. Good luck, everyone." And woohoo, not looking forward to that chip. It's nasty. <laughs> it says Andre NGO. And Chad the War is hell yeah, I'm going to win. Chad wants it. Mark Z says he's in. Dean Big. 
<laughs> Dean. Dean will donate it to Ron. And there's Paula also. Packy chip for Ron. Uh, John Tagita says, here it is. Reggie, I want a chip. Zeki, I'll be on, no problem. Awesome. Uh, Boss Grows, adding a public comment. <laughs> Curtis says, pass it on. And Jimmy says, winner. Jimmy is confident he's going to win this thing. All right, so let's see. Let me... Let me reload this again. See if there's any new comments. Is that it? Is that it? 27 comments. I mean, uh, 14 comments, was it? 14 comments. That's all I see. 14 comments. All right. 14. 14 it is. Copy link. Let's uh, yeah, as usual, YouTube comment pickers first because uh, Google's spying on all of us. All right, let's see. Uh, get comments. There are eighteen comments here. Increased a little. So there we have it. Eighteen are entering a r f del rosy what's up man entered awesome what the heck ron <laughs> jesse go what's up jesse go jesse go just changed his uh just changed his uh profile pic right cool <laughs> awesome all right <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get we'll try we're we're trying to get Ron in here, uh Carolyn, because some people saying Ron is it's a Nigerian prince. Some people say he's he's a woman, he's not Ron. Some people say he's an old member that got banned. So who knows? Everybody wants to see Ron. You know, he doesn't post pics, but. Hopefully the one chip challenge will get him here. Uh, Sean Henson, what's up, Sean? Late to the party, got high. <laughs> Uh, uh, go ahead and uh, enter that video that says Packy, Packy, uh, Packy Chip Enter. It's on my channel, my last upload. Sean, if you want to enter to win a Packy One Chip Challenge, uh, you don't have much time. I'm going to draw a winner for that. So go drop a comment there fast. I mean, like now. And uh, T, uh, T Bryn, Ty Bryn, De Des Boys, uh, Ty. <laughs> Give it to Ron, please. Thanks. I saw you earlier, and I I forgot. I I was busy. I didn't say hello. Uh, good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, good luck, Ron. Freaking random piss test, I tell you. <laughs> Oh yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that's 
that's why I don't smoke anymore. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Everybody that just came in had a chance to comment. Let's do this. Packy one chip challenge. Twenty comments. Let's go. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove uh, uh it's the comments are now on top. Before you had to go down past all the video suggestions and crap like that, but now the comments are right right before you start <clears throat> all right there it is packy one chip challenge courtesy of michelle tran and my feet john dominguez no john dominique amorado Congratulations, John. You just won a one chip, uh, Paggy one chip challenge. Uh, hi, here we go. Good luck, everyone. Awesome. Holy crap. <laughs> he won. <laughs> there you go. John, uh, let's hope he's not a pup. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, man. <laughs> But uh, congratulations, man. Uh, uh, please uh, message me so I could get your info to Michelle. And Michelle will send you that one chip challenge. <clears throat> now, now for the same... Uh, should I do a different video for to enter for uh, Marjorie stuff because because now you know like uh, some people are giving their stuff away to Ron. I know you don't want to give your stockings to Ron, right? <clears throat> So yeah, congratulations, uh, Ron. <laughs> congratulations, uh, John, John Dominique. You got a one chip challenge coming from Michelle Tran. Message me somewhere, I don't know where you are, if you're on Instagram or uh, Discord or Reddit, let me know, send me a message with your address. I'll get it over to Michelle, or maybe you're on Facebook and you do know Michelle there, and uh, you can get your info to her. Let us know. I will. I'll just do another video for the stockings. After uh, I grab Skullville Underground in the house. What's up, Skullville Underground? What's going on? I just got some. Just got some hot sauces in the mail from Scoville Underground. Can't wait to try those. I'll, uh, I'll probably bring them on here. Uh, give you a shout out. I'll try them here. 
and uh, if uh, <clears throat> check out uh, no not today <laughs> I said I got in the mail as in they're traveling <laughs> I didn't get them already I know you shipped them today <laughs> But uh, yeah, if you want to, uh, well, I don't know if uh, if you want people to get you on uh, on Facebook by your real name, but he's got some hot sauces for sale, and they look tasty. I can't wait to try them. Bear, my man. <laughs> I got some bear stickers, too. I'm gonna give away a couple. Uh, whoever doesn't have, you see Bear's uh, profile pic there. I got that sticker. It's pretty damn cool. And uh, I'll um, I don't know who doesn't have a Bear sticker, but. From the uh, good night, Bear. Thanks for everything. Bear sent me some more cool stuff, some nice seeds. Uh, man, some of those uh, some of those seeds look interesting. Man, they're definitely making the grow list. And. Uh, Oh, Jesse Go is getting a bear sticker because I got stuff going out to Jesse. Uh, <laughs> just chilling in the green room. So, so you ready? So you ready, Russell? Because I'm almost out of beer. <laughs> almost out of beer, Russell. Oh, Michelle doesn't have a bear sticker. Michelle's getting a bear sticker, definitely, for her generosity here today. Oh, uh, Mark C said, what's up, Yaya? Yaya Esme is here? Where's, y Where's Russ? Yaya Esme is not here. Where? Chris Cannon. Chris Cannon. What's up, Chris? Yeah, I don't see yeah yeah. Who said Mark? Mark said what's up, yeah yeah. Um. Oh, your labels your labels wash away from condensation. What what did you what do you write on? On paper? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh okay. Uh Mark, Mark heard me say Russ, and and uh, <laughs> Mark heard me say Russ, and he thought yeah, yeah. No, it's it's uh, Russell Stewart. <clears throat> hey, what do we have here? Special guest tonight. I I told you guys this guy is real. We have on panel the one and only Ron. Give Ron a round of applause, everybody. <laughs> What's up, Ron? 
<laughs> Why? Ron, nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Send me your seeds, please. I need them. Send me everything you have. Send them my way. Why in the world are you collecting all these seeds, man? Are you going to be able to plant everything? Look, there's a virus. People are dying. You got to collect seeds, seeds and batteries. This is what I'm collecting. That's all I need. It's, I'm going to save the world with seeds and batteries. I'm glad I wasn't sipping the beer when you said batteries. <laughs> oh, man. And every, every time I come on, I always, like, I, I click the link, and it says, like, check your mic and camera, and I always forget to press enter the studio or whatever. So I'm always, like, sitting here being like, yo, I'm here. And I realize you don't see me because I didn't actually press the button. Yeah, it, I don't. It takes me looking down in the little corner here until I don't see the little screen down here. I, I don't know that, that you popped in. Sometimes people are there. They call it backstage. <laughs> Sometimes people are there and I just don't notice. So they're in the chat like, yo, I'm here waiting backstage. Sometimes people message me like, yo, this guy said let him in. <laughs> yeah, but it's always, I always forget to click the fucking thing. So you don't even know I'm here. Ask, ask us a fun question. Michelle, okay. Fun question. Because nobody <laughs> believes I'm real. Why do you guys keep sending me stuff? Huh? <laughs> I don't uh, understand. Uh, <laughs> <Fun> question. <laughs> fun question. <laughs> you know, most, you know of them are, was, most of them aren't even questions. You know, I, that that was one of the, the first things, like, all right, I don't want to be an asshole, but so many fun questions, so many. And, uh, you know, I, I, it fun. It, I thought about it. I, it, it. It crossed my mind, like. Another fun question, huh? And uh, boom, my boy, <laughs> my boy <laughs> messages me, and he's in a complete rage about this guy. Like, yo, is this guy fucking pissing you off or not? <laughs> because he's fucking, he's fucking killing me. Fucking fun question. What the fuck? Everything's a fucking fun question. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, oh, it's not just me? Okay. But, I mean, <clears throat> I don't know, man. I don't know. I think, you know, you got to give the guy a break because, I mean, I don't know. You could be right. It could be the Nigerian prince. It could be. <laughs> No, look, I don't know. I don't think he's some Nigerian prince, but I don't think he's exactly who he claims to be. It just there's too much. It's like he goes from saying like, "Oh, I'm old. I don't know how to take pictures," to this and that, and then you read some of the stuff he puts and the, the the words he's using. He sounds like it's coming from a 14 year old. He's like, "Yo, this guy's over here putting me on blast," and I'm like, "You don't know how to. You're, you're holding your phone upside I down." Know it's that. It's I so know weird. That. And uh, another thing, uh, he used the phrase, the struggle is real. And I was like, yo, Ron. <laughs> the struggle is supposed to be real for him. So how does he even, uh, like, how does he know these things? And then he goes, he writes a thing. He's like, oh, I just bought, I bought 80 pounds of soil. And then three days later, he's like, oh, I bought way too much fucking whatever and not enough soil. And he's like, now I have to buy soil. And he's apparently he's got seventy thousand dollars worth of Amazon gift cards because he's got like eight eight hundred thousand watts of lighting. And, and apparently they just clip onto the side of the tent. I don't understand anything the man's talking about. I don't know. I, I I like to think that you know he's an honest person and means well. It's just a lot of things don't add up. Yeah, uh, Gapy's Grub got a question for you. I, I didn't notice the variety. 
<laughs> you know, I, I think somebody posted a they I think they took a shot at Ron. <laughs> I think Jim Jim Moonhall. It it came off of trolling. It kind of pissed me off that post, but I really think it was a shot at Ron too. <laughs> Does anybody got seeds for Kangstar chocolate starfish? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, that was the, that was like that was like what like a few weeks ago? You mean? Yeah, and uh, starfish. Yeah, that was a limb biscuit thing that I think he was. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the first thing I wrote. I was like, great. Now we're gonna have a bunch of because Ron's gonna believe it. He's gonna start begging everybody for shit. You know, Ron came on that post. He's like, he didn't make that. Kang didn't make that. He doesn't yeah. exist. I'm like, you dumb son of a bitch. I already fell for it. You come here and fall for it too, you stupid. Shut up. Get out of here. I was, yeah, I saw him come on and I'm like, damn it, Ron. I already fell for it. You had to come. You had to fucking come. I took the hit for you, man. Shit, because yeah, I thought I thought it was serious, you know. And I I said I think you mean Starscream, no? Yeah. I, I got some seeds. I'll send you. He's like, you know, making all these puns and and shit. I'm like, oh, you're fucking trolling, you dick. But whatever. <laughs> Like I was just, I was saying the other day, like, just imagine, you know, imagine going to Ron's house. Like, if he's like, oh, I'm missing one seat. And you're like, oh, you live down the street. Like, I'll bring it to you in person. And he invites you in. And you walk inside and there's, you know, there's like a corner with like candles and like pictures of Kang all over the wall. <laughs> you know? And like, I don't yeah. know. Man. <laughs> that is... That is fucking hilarious. That's that sounds like it's from a movie or something. But I I think somebody that lives in the area should propose a meetup. Like, yeah. Come on, do this for us. We need we need this. Like Who if, if, <laughs> if uh, I mean I hope the guys really real in who he says and what he says and but it's like I know people are like apparently he promised people seedlings too, and they they someone was asking the other day like oh so what's happening with seedlings and he's like oh well you know it's cold so well yeah <laughs> but like, there's a lot of stuff and then then he writes like he sends seeds to somebody apparently and then he posts like almost thanking himself for sending the other person the seeds that they made it that they made it there but the person he sent them to no didn't post shit he's like oh the seeds I sent made it to Puerto Rico, you're welcome. And but nobody, <laughs> I can do that. I said shit to everybody. I'm just every day I'm gonna post. You're welcome for my shit. You're welcome for having me. They're embarrassed. Me. <laughs> they're, embarrassed. they're like, <laughs> they're like no. I'm not gonna tell you I took advantage of this guy. <laughs> but hey, nobody should feel like that because. He's he's done his share of fucking, you know. I'm not gonna say begging, but mm. <clears throat> he's asked for some fucking seeds, and and he's pushy, man. That was the thing that pissed me off about him. I already said this story, but when I did the my interaction with him, which caused me to lose my shit. When he kept tagging Kang in every fucking comment and post, mm -hmm. it it was driven by the way he pressed me for the Sugar Rush Stripies. You know, I had just fucking started getting some ripe, and I posted I posted a giveaway on Pepper mm -hmm. Lunch. Sugar Stripey seeds, whatever. It was some bullshit about give me a hundred a hundred likes on the post, and I'll and you know I I extended the the comments to two hundred, and 
before the fucking giveaway was even over, Ron messages me and says, can I have some of those seeds? Can I have a few of those seeds? So I say, hey, those seeds are pretty popular right now. You know, I just did a giveaway. Give me a bit. I got, I got a lot of friends that want them also. And, and, um, uh, <clears throat> Uh, you know, I'm doing a lot of mailing, so give me some time. So, you know, a week or two goes by, he asks me again. He said, hey, don't forget about me. Mm. <laughs> so, so, you know, I'm looking at the message like, okay, you think I took care of all my mailings in one week. So I I showed him a bunch of mail that was getting ready to go out that day. I had all these packages for people. So I said, hey, look, I'm busy, man. You know, th this is what fucking $52 in postage looks like. Check it out. Boom. So, uh, you know, he doesn't budge. He says, you want me to PayPal you some <laughs> some postage? <laughs> For take a picture we know how to PayPal? I'm like, really? You're going you're gonna to PayPal me 50 cents for a fucking stamp? So, I, you know, I, I just didn't respond <laughs> for a few days. So, guess what? I get a nice, a nice uh, Sugar Rush Stripe pod, and I take it to work. And I go, you know, I, I do the video at work. And you know all my pepper reviews. The seeds are giveaway, right? Mm -hmm. Comment seeds. So he sees it. Does he comment seeds to enter? No. He says, yo, his comment was still waiting. See, that's not that's not the kind of thing someone who's the age he portrays to be says. Like that's that's a shitty teenage attitude type of thing. Or someone who you know what can say whatever the fuck they want because no one actually knows who they really are and they don't care hiding behind some persona. I mean, yo, that's if, if he was out. if he was a bit smarter, he wouldn't have done that because that's when I say, you know what, you are not getting shit. I'm not sending you shit. That's that's when I fucking lost it. And uh <clears throat> then when I did the drawing, you 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 think he wasn't on the chat? You think he wasn't there <laughs> talking about <laughs> talking about <laughs> he he still claimed them in the chat. He says something like uh uh you know, don't forget about me. Or uh, again, some some fucking thing like he owned them already. So I told him right on the live, right here. I said, "Hey, listen, Ron. Uh, you know, a lot of people are, the, are looking for those seeds, and I told him straight up, I'm using them for sales. They're 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 a bit hot right now, and." My peppers are not ripening how I wanted them to. They're they're not ripening like super fast. I'm not getting a ton ripe, so you know, we got to see about that. And he politely said, "No worries, no worries." You know, what 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 was it he said? No harm, no foul. And I'm like, all right. Guy understands. A couple of days later, he messaged me asking if if I want any canned varieties. <laughs> I felt like saying, "Yo, uh, chocolate starfish, man." <laughs> I got mail from Kang yesterday, <laughs> so <laughs> no. <laughs> but that would have got me in a whole other yeah. mess with him, so I didn't. Uh, <clears throat> well, whatever, man. 
guys, I, I hope he's just, you know, a really innocent grower. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to say, you know, anything like mentally challenged or anything, but it, you know, <clears throat> I have to say, man, a lot of shit that people say to him and, and a lot of shit just bounces off of him. He's like, yeah, he just, he doesn't even, do yeah, <laughs> it doesn't bother him at all. <laughs> like, Hey, today's a new day. Your insults mean nothing to me. <laughs> Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. But that's what I mean, because like, people, oh, a bunch of people. It's not even insults. Like I've called them out a couple times, and I was like, Ron, I, I, you know, I wish you the best. I hope you're, you know, what you say you are and who you say you are. It'd be nice to see some pictures of, you know, all the stuff you're claiming. All these people are sending you seeds. And he's like, oh, I don't know how. And then literally two minutes later, there's a picture of like, you know, it was like a table with some bags of seeds on it. And like, a, you know, like I said, like a black foot. And <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're, it doesn't matter to me what you look like. But just, I don't know, man. It's all, and like you call him and he's just like, he ignores you. He's like, yeah, I don't, meh. you know, but do you have any of this that I need? No, <laughs> he just, he doesn't give a shit. Which I guess is the best if you want something. Yeah. People people talk shit, then just ignore guess, them. Uh, what what I said to him though, uh, when I blew up on the post saying stop tagging Kang, that, that did get to him because he went uh, he actually went on Pepper Freaks and <laughs> some people some people uh, you know defended him right on the post and said and said, uh, you know, why don't you use the block button or, you know, unfollow, whatever. You don't got to be a dick and shit like that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, <laughs> you think Kang? <laughs> I'm like, yo, Kang is, Kang is in his house, like, punching a fucking wall every time this guy. <laughs> like, one, one more fucking fun question. I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> No, but what I called what I what I called him out on was the tagging. He kept tagging Ken on everything, like oh, mm -hmm. whatever. And he even doubted if some were real because he can't get a hold of him. Like, dude, like he doesn't realize the the spot he's putting the poor guy on because you're not the only one that want these fucking seeds, man. There's 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 7,000 members. There's 7,000 members after this shit, dude. And you got more than some of these guys could even wish for. And some of them have been trying to get them for years. Exactly. So everybody's there like, you know, like, who the fuck does this guy think he is? You know, I, I'm, I'm, I know this, man. Trust me. Some people don't get a reply from Kang. Because he's he, he's either too busy, and he puts out. That's not the first time he put out a video. How to get seeds? Like that means stop messaging me. Yeah. Make friends. Make friends in the group, and 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 get seeds. Everybody's giving them away. You just can't come mm -hmm. out. You know, and <laughs> I thought it was funny that one of the one of the guys that corrected me or told me off, I'm like, I clicked on his profile and his only post to the fucking group, he was a new member, his only post was, does anybody got some C's they can share with me? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, <laughs> yo. I'm like, listen, man, Kang made a post about this shit. And obviously, <laughs> you didn't see it. But I, I I joined the group. It's been, I don't know, maybe just over a year, I guess. And, like, a few people send me seeds. I didn't ask for shit. I don't really ask for anything. I mean, I bought some here and there. But I've got, like, I'm like 500 varieties now, you know. Like, I don't, I don't go around asking for shit. I just, you just. 
talk to people, you know. That's it, you know, simple. All right, let's give away three stockings from Marjorie. Give me some stockings. Um, <laughs> oh shit! I just got, I just got a picture from uh, from Jason, uh, Jason Harrell, right? Yeah. Hey, hey, Ralph. That's the uh, that's the other Batman. <laughs> uh, it it, you know, at first, I honestly, at first, I was like, "Wait, what? You're Batman? What the fuck? <laughs> I've, been, I've been doing this for fucking seven years, and you're Batman." Okay, but uh, yeah, he's he's cool, man. <laughs> it's okay. It's like you know, he's like he's like the Ben Affleck version. You know, it's like it's, it's fine. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Wait a minute. There's no. <laughs> oh, fuck. What the fuck, Russell? Batfleck? You gonna fix your mouth to talk shit about Batfleck? Batfleck was great. The, I, the he only... was fine. I told you the only, Bye. the only, the only Batman I don't like was fucking George Clooney with his bat nipples. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean that's fine. I, like but bat I agree. I agree with that. I'm like, what the fuck was that? You know, there's only really there's only two Batman in my book. You know, like. It's <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I, I, I'm watching uh, Jason's new video, and there's like a commentator or something uh, introducing him. I don't know. It's I think it's the Sons of Fire or something. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I heard him say uh, the one and only Batman. And I, I was like, no. Okay, now you're pissing me off. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding, man. He could be bad, man. No, but he just, uh, I did subscribe to his channel, and and I checked out his videos. Uh, he just sent me a picture of uh, how it all started, and. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Yeah. No. I, I saw that. Yeah. 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 He made a he made a sticker out of this. So he has a toilet brush and he's in underwears, whitey tighties. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Grab another beer.
<clears throat> Yo, Stacy Morgan, what's up, man? Drifted, what's going on, Drifted? What's popping? Yeah, we're about to give away some more seeds. The stockings from Marjorie, I've been putting off for an hour. But, and Daniel Butler is here. Oh, I need to find out who uh, one of my channel members. I do not have any contact information for. Luckily, not alive. Who knows? Who knows? Luckily, not alive. Is that is that someone on? Uh... Oh shit! No way, man. No, uh, Stacy, you fucking shitting me, man. I won the Mr. Beast contest, 10K deposited today. You're, you're fucking kidding me. What? <laughs> Seriously? Holy shit. That's freaking awesome. I didn't know that was I didn't even know that was going on. Stacy Morgan's another moderator on on LAB's channel. <clears throat> awesome, man. Congratulations, Stacy. Yeah, congrats. Is that uh, 10k in cash? No fucking way. <clears throat> Wow. That's fucking awesome, Stacy. <laughs> Congrats, my man. Wow. All right. Wow. Uh LA Beast is very generous, giving away 10K. Holy shit. <clears throat> he's, he's been here a couple of times. All right, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> Gonna give some shit away. Yeah, I need to uh, give this stuff away <clears throat> past midnight, and uh, let's see. <clears throat> Show my Ponton P3 shirt. Boom. Enter here to win Marjorie's uh, Christmas stocking packed with 10 varieties of seeds. Good luck. <laughs> I'm on a roll. Just one take for these things, huh? Yeah, well, they're very difficult. I mean, have you seen me in the past? It takes me, it takes me like three times not to fumble some simple shit. Because you got your special socks on, man. That's why. Um, okay, so... Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. 
it, you mean not L.A. Beast? Is there a Mr. Beast? I didn't know that. Well, I don't know Mr. Beast. The English version of La Beast. Oh. Mm. Okay. Well, still awesome, man. It's fucking 12K in, in, uh, 12K in Canadian cash, huh? That's it? I would have thought it was like almost 40K or something. I don't even know what our dollar is at. It's probably terrible. We just, got hit, we just got hit with a fucking curfew where I'm from. Yeah. Yeah, because of fucking COVID. Starting Saturday, we can't be out of the house after 8 o'clock. Yeah. It's From total home. bullshit. You know COVID is still out there, right? <laughs> like in the daytime. <laughs> no, but all, all, like, all, all non-essential stores are closed. Essential stores that are open are only allowed to sell essential items. Like, you go to Walmart and, like, 90% of the stuff is blocked off. You can't even buy it. Because they are trying to limit people in the store. So, pretty much just grocery, pharmacy, fucking <laughs> hardware. What happened to uh, letting a certain amount in at a time? <clears throat> well, they, that's what they do. But they're still trying to limit. It's not even, I think it's. I mean, the shit's not really spreading around in stores. I think it's they're mostly doing it to try and because like it's everyone's it's all the gatherings, right? People going to each other's houses and whatever. So it's basically like, yeah, well, you keep doing that shit. Well, we're not gonna let you shop no more. We're not gonna let you leave your house after eight o'clock. So it's just trying to get people to, I guess, you know, follow the the rules. Shit, did this? Uh... <laughs> Yo, I think I didn't hit the record button. I'm hitting upload a video and it's only showing me the old one. All that pride, huh? right out the window. You still fucked it up. So close. She says you don't have to be on the show to eat yep. it. <coughs> old one. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude. Idiot. Oh, I took a picture. That's what happened. I didn't put it on video. I, I left it on camera. Took a picture. Awesome. All right. Let's go. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Enter here to win Marjorie's Christmas stockings. Packed with 10 varieties of pepper seeds. Good luck. <clears throat> wow, one take. <laughs> Natural, Jimmy. <laughs> and and I gotta I gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, while people go and comment on this video for the stockings, uh, I will go to the bathroom. I got to pee. Uh, let's go. Everyone has time to comment at least 14, 15, 16 times. Maybe more. I'm not going to be gone that long. I just got to pee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? When I leave, I take long. Like I don't know. I feel like you're like, oh, let me go back. I'm gonna, I gotta go pee. I'll be right back. I'm like, maybe you don't have a washroom. And you gotta go to your neighbor's house. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, where does he go? I don't know. <clears throat> hey, what if? What if it's not pee, and I don't want to tell everybody? I'm. Don't worry. We're all assuming it anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> And I'm like, always getting yelled at on the way back because he's too loud. One or the other. Hey, some people might say, you know, number two doesn't take that long either. But it's where I do my best work, man. 
<laughs> what if you get the, uh, you know, what you might call it, like, you know, you know, like the, <clears throat> you know how sometimes you wipe and you wipe and you wipe. <laughs> <laughs> we had this conversation last week. So I wasn't on, but I think you were you were talking about it. <laughs> yeah, that happens. <laughs> yeah, wiping the magic marker. Yeah, never ends. Uh, <clears throat> because it's because so, it's caused by like it's a premature wipe, you know. You're not you're not done yet. Clearly, there's still <laughs> more there. So take your time. No, no, no. You're done. You're done. You're done. So it's crazy. It's not, people, like, people actually paid us and spent the channel, huh? Two hours? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Stream suck. Stream suck sucks. <laughs> Stream yard. Stream yard sucks. Stream yard sucks, man. What's with this in, in, in the chat? Jesus. I don't know what you're talking about. Apparently, Christmas stockings. All right. These, uh, there's going to be three. Three giveaways for these. They're Christmas stockings. They got uh, well minis. They got they got peppers in the fabric. They're from Marjorie, and they have uh, ten varieties of pepper seeds inside. So uh, here we go. No, it's not right. for. Scorpion tank. <laughs> my, <laughs> it's not for fucking kids. My friend at work is like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're in the hallway. And I, I don't know any better, but he's like, <laughs> he's like, dude, this is a fucking kid right there. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, he <laughs> just. <laughs> You just hooked it up. There's a fucking kid right there. People are saying that the, the video hasn't posted though. Oh, not yet. No, I'm 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 working on this. It's uh it might take a few more to scroll on. What is this way? Let's see. It just went fast. Got the Wi-Fi raging over here. Upload complete. Videos up. You upload videos like with the same level of skill that Ron takes pictures. This is <laughs> <laughs> no, I just got distracted talking to you, man. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put in the chat myself. So I'm assuming the, the, the stockings are US only also. Or people No, uh yeah, we're not sending stockings overseas. Uh the pepper the <clears throat> the two pepper donkey packs will be overseas. And uh, I I probably should have done those first because my man Dean is <laughs> was yeah, he's probably he's probably what five hours ahead <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like when I go to bed it's like fucking morning fam so the show ends he goes he makes his coffee has breakfast all right there you go video in the chat 
video in the chat. Go comment there. You know what? If if you want if you want to take these stockings without the you know just the seeds in them, maybe. But uh, oh, Dean is there. There, Dean is still here. Hey, man. Uh, only Dean, only for Dean. If Dean wins, I'll I'll send the seeds minus the stocking, but a U.S. winner can get the stockings. <laughs> oh, I I don't know, man. Marjorie just said international is fine. But you're gonna send these international? They. You know how the other countries feel about seeds, you know? It really does depend on the country, I find, though. Like, Canada's yeah. usually... Canada's yeah, you're right. Cool. You're right. Majority you're right. of countries are fine. It's just some of them have very strict import laws because they don't want you fucking with their ecosystems, right? Yeah, don't try to send seeds to the Philippines. They will fuck you up. <laughs> They'll send those things right back, but only, like, a year later. <clears throat> I, I, I did try and send some to uh, some guy in the Philippines. I don't remember who it was, to be honest. It was a while back. I never heard anything from him. I never got them back. I just assumed all was well. Uh, uh, who was it that won... The one chip challenge, Dominique. Uh, there he is, uh, John. John Dominique. Wait a minute. Uh, John Dominique, uh, you're saying thank you, Marjorie, because she said international is fine. So. John, you're saying that uh, you're overseas, John? Because uh, we can't send you the One Chip Challenge overseas. I was just about to write your name here and ask you to contact me for that. But uh, the One Chip Challenge is for U.S. only. John. Where do we find you? Let me know. Quick. Yeah, it seems like he's overseas because he replied, oh, shoot. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, he is. We need to draw another winner for the One Chip Challenge. I'll be right back. I'll try to make this fast. <laughs> Hope everyone's got some time on their hands. <clears throat> I'm sure you can mail the chip overseas. It just becomes the one crumb challenge at that point, I would assume. Ron's still here anyway. Probably shows up randomly out of nowhere and just thinks we're a bunch of assholes. I mean, we are, don't get me wrong, but. Oh, wait, let me move this off to the side. Let's start the back of my phone. Um, we're not assholes, Ron. We just need proof. Fair. The election's rigged? Prove it. it. Wasn't. But give us proof, Ron. Which Ron? The Ron. Ron KS Scott Nicky. Saw you showed up before and just said of them. 
No, we mean well just like you do. All right. Uh, I want everybody knows. Did everybody get a comment on on that link? The new one, the Christmas stockings. We're gonna have to do. Uh, we're gonna have to do the one chip challenge over again. But uh, I was gonna offer a consolation prize of seeds to John. It looks like somebody did. Uh, uh. <clears throat> you got a, you got I don't know. You missed it there. You got a super chat before from Nate, four ninety nine. Just reminding you about your scorpion tank as well. That uh, you said you might dabble in a bit later. Yes, in the yes I was talking crap. And I missed that. There it is. Thank you very much, Nate. <coughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. I don't want to understand, Amanda. No thanks. I'm good. P3's very cool little robot that you find here on my T-shirt. I feel like I should go grab a tank too and do some, but I'm, my tolerance is crazy low right now. I'll hey. probably I'll probably end up having to go pee, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. That's even better. I will not do this until you go get some tincture. Uh, all right, hold on. My the, my my tolerance is crazy low right now. I've barely been like I haven't been doing anything for so long. <laughs> I'm probably gonna need to pee. Hey man, sometimes I go grab a snack, honestly. And you know, I might run into people in the house. You know, I don't live alone, right? All right, I've had this. I've had that's how how much I haven't been doing. I've had this for uh, I don't know how long now. This is blueberry KY from Farmer J Alpha Omega from I probably had it for like seven months, maybe. Blueberry KY. Yeah. Why is it KY? I, I it might be a tank, might be a lube. I'm not sure yet, but we're, gonna <laughs> find, we're, about, to, we're about to find out. <laughs> that's what came into mind. But okay. <clears throat> oh man, it's not gonna it's not gonna go well. Let me make sure I should probably refill my Pontons, Pontons Maruga. Yeah, I'm not there's a way to fill these up. I'm not trying to do that right now. <laughs> oh me too. I don't know how either then. Let me just get a little of this. Oh here. shit. What the fuck? <laughs> huh? How you get it? <laughs> How oh, you you put, it put it in. Squeeze. Put it in. Turn it upside down. Squeeze. Put it back. And then it kind of... Oh. Mm. Squeeze. All over the leather. Oh, no, wait. You got you to gotta have it squeeze empty first, right? Yeah. Well, if it starts full, then we, we solve the problem. So Get it up. Oh, but squeeze. I fucked it up. All right, squeeze empty. Yeah. Fill it up. Squeeze turn, it. Turn that, no, no, turn it upside down with whatever you have oh, in it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, it's full. Hey, that's so a turn, lot. Turn it up. Yeah, that's what? Maybe I'll just stay here. Huh? I see nothing. Upside down. Squeeze. Bring it, it back, back in. let go. Let's fuck Pull it up. It's still not full, but close enough. But this is a little yeah. dropper. <laughs> Did you see the size of that fucking dropper? The other one. All right, ready? Go. No, I'm not ready for this shit. It's been like. <laughs> well, I guess ready or not. Dropping some of that back in there. All right, let's go. 
Mm. Oh, yeah, it's definitely lube. Oh shit. Oh, I, I do not like this one. It's just it's just pepper. Mm, yeah. Oh. oh. Ugh. Mm. Uh, no, I need I need some lemony goodness right here. Just a little. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've uh, uh, dabbled uh, in the. No, the uh, oh the the plain Maruga one is uh, eh, it's not my favorite. It, it was uh, it's too peppery. It's like <clears throat> it's like bam pepper. All right, so everybody commented on on that video. Stockings definitely warm on the tip of the tongue. Uh, let's see. How was yours? Mine, um, <coughs> mine are not horrible. They're not like super. I thought I thought it was gonna be worse. Considering my lack of uh, <laughs> capsation intake over the last bit, but it's it's still it's, it's warm. It's definitely toasty. Uh, Making my nose run a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, but obsessive guard. I don't want to be sober. I'm not even drunk yet. Not like last time, anyway. Shit, by the end of the the end of last time I was on, I was shammered, man. Woo. We did what four hours last time? The beer, uh, the beer, kind of, kind of makes it. Uh. The beer makes it uh wet. What? No, it, it makes it sting a little more. Yeah, the carbonation. The, the... <clears throat> oh. Who's is, that the... <laughs> huh? is is anyone talking about politics? We'll we'll throw them off the chat right now. Uh, all right. <clears throat> yeah, you asked me before about if you sent me somebody's details. Uh, Cat Army. I didn't. I sent didn't. You sent me. Was it Cal Cal's? Yeah, Cal Cal was one of the winner, but I think Cat Army won something from you. Well, I think I did too that night. Like I said, uh, by the end of it, I was. Uh, it's definitely not so at my best uh so yeah cat army was the other then because message me and uh uh i said yeah i'll i'll get i get your info to him yeah so send me the info You're the boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see. Hold on. I wasn't technically talking politics. I said one thing. I said talking about proof. Happened to be the analogy I used. <clears throat> hey, Michael C. What's up, Michael? Good to see you, my brother. Hope you're having a good night. Hope you had a great holiday season. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's do the one chip challenge again, I guess.
That's just one. All right. The winner for this has to be in the chat right now. And uh, please say right away you're in the U.S. Please. Well, Marjorie said she didn't. Is this for the? This is for the stockings or for the chip again? This is for the chip. We're just gonna do the chip over real quick. You know, you're going. You're sticking with the first one that you told people was for the stockings, because then you're just misleading people. You know. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Nothing. I'm gonna go blow my nose. Mother of that shit. <laughs> it's been, been a while, man. All right. Uh, there's 25 comments now on the One Chip Challenge. And uh, here we go. This is the one chip challenge. Holy shit. I got a guest on the show because Rob Schaller just won. And shit. Is Rob Schaller still here? Haven't seen him comment in a bit. Oh, crap. Come on, Rob. Get in here. Rob's supposed to do this with me. <clears throat> Rob Schaller. Good luck, everyone. If I win, I will be on the show to eat it. Damn it. That's it. I'm going to message Rob and tell him to come the fuck on here. <laughs> what I missed, what happened? Guess who won? Rob Schaller, but it looks like he stepped out. Oh. Uh. And he's the, the one that said, I will be on the show to eat it. Oh, come on, Rob. You, you give him a pass because he'll eat it on the show. You know? You yeah. Um, I, I think I'm going to message him and say... Oh, yeah, he's, here. He's, he's here. He's here. He just responded. He's here. Oh, there he is. There you go. Awesome, man. Congrats, Rob. Rob Schaller just won the One Chip Challenge. And he says he will be eat, eating it here with me, so... I got my one chip challenge. And so how hot are these things, man? Like I keep, I hear they keep making them hotter. Well, and... I hope so, right? That would why keep doing them if you're not going to make them better than the last time. Yeah, but... you know, my first challenge was the first year Peggy chip. Mm. Yeah, I did it on someone else's stream. I did it on Refdos TV, and that's one of our friends. Yeah, yeah. And I, I dressed up like Batman, and I, I came on there, and, and the guys were like, "What? <laughs> why, why do you have a toilet brush?" <laughs> no, no, not that bad. Man. Tell me when you're shit. I'm always surrounded by beers. But, uh, <clears throat> all right, congrats, Rob. You got the one chip challenge, yeah, man. So uh, let's have Michelle send it to you, and yes. <clears throat> so now Marjorie's uh, Christmas stockings. 
You can save these stockings for next year. You can get uh, you can get the seeds out and grow them this year because I believe she said there's ten varieties of seeds inside. So let me get the link to that video and. Copy. How you feeling? You still burning from that? No, not too bad. It was more it was the inside of my lips that were burning a bit, but it kind of passed. I, I did I did grab the weaker of the ones I have though, so <laughs> wasn't on purpose. I just picked one up. So nobody knows nobody knows who luckily not alive is. What's up with that? He's uh, he joined the channel. He's a channel member. I'm trying to send him a hot sauce and and uh, I don't know. Wouldn't know where to send it. And Dan Jennings just joined the channel. Also, Dan, if you're still watching, uh, contact me somewhere on my about tab. Here on my channel, there's there's some social media, and my email is there, I believe. All right, there's 32 comments on the Christmas stockings. Here we go. Uh, uh, yeah, Dan... Dan Jennings, uh, contact me somewhere, please. Uh, here we go. This is for Marjorie Stockings. We have three of them. William Leitner. William Leitner. <laughs> William Leitner wins one. And uh, William Leitner is uh, providing... One of the uh, Pepper Donkey Seeds Pack that we're giving away right after this. So we're going to do another winner for the stockings. That is SoundQuest Rob. SoundQuest Rob. Wait. Woo! -hoo! Soundquist Rob is in Canada, and Marjorie said that's not a problem. But uh, oh, wait a minute! Uh, William Leitner might not be. <laughs> not sure, Rob. Is Rob still here? What Rob? Soundquist Rob. Yeah, that's that's why I asked if. If we're going to do... Uh... William Leitner's here. Oh, they're both here. They're both here. There you go. Okay. Everybody's William here. Leitner is here. And SoundQuest Rob, where is he? I don't see him. Oh, there he goes. Woo! Yes! 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 All right. Sam guys... is not 20 minutes behind. It's good. Yeah, this chest sucks. Uh, both here. Marjorie said she will send it overseas, but I mean, I know, you know, yeah, Canada is a little better than overseas. <laughs> so, yeah, we're being right next door. You know, we're like, just got lucky. 
Uh, but she did say it's fine, you know, not only U.S., so I don't know, man. That's a lot of money. Did you see her giveaway, her other ones? Yeah, I saw I saw the one and it was in Chasing Capsation, I think it was. Yeah, and it one in Pepper Man. Lovers. Yeah, maybe I, I don't know. Yeah, the, the Pepper Lovers, the Pepper Lovers included a Make It Wayne t-shirt. What? Yes. <laughs> a certificate. I was, man, I was, I was hoping to win that shit. You want to win your own t-shirt? Like, no, I was going to give away the t-shirt had I won it, but there were like three hot sauces. Yeah. The, the. The ornament with the, mm -hmm. with the group. No, oh, Marjorie, Mar she's been giving away some, some awesome Throw stuff. Throw stuff, man. Like, seeds, uh, yeah. you know. Uh, I think uh, what's the the grow thing? The grow stuff. What's the grow stuff? Viagra? No, the, the, the things you buy. The, the things with light. <laughs> I forgot their name. What are they? The grow stuff. The things you buy. You know, the garden. Hey. The gardens with the lights. The machines. Oh, arrow gardens. Yes, yes. I the, think there was the pods for that. You're saying the grow stuff that you buy and looking at me like I, I'm the idiot for not having the answer. <laughs> yeah. The gross stuff that you buy. Oh, you know, the things, man. The things. <laughs> Yo, Ponton's Pepper Powder just joined the channel, man. That is freaking awesome. Ponton. Yeah, I sent out, uh, if you might be wondering, I, I, I sent him out uh, some seeds there, what, like maybe a week ago, maybe a bit more, but I know mail is crazy slow. So you can know that they're on their way there if you're wondering. So who? Ponton. Oh, cool, man. Man. I appreciate the tinctures and these tinctures uh, I love because this, <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I can definitely do this. It's not incredibly hot and it tastes freaking amazing. Nice lemon flavor. It's freaking great. And I'm going to use them on drinks. And at least the the one that tastes just like peppers, I, I could put this like on on micheladas, you know, maybe like like on uh, on those uh, those drinks with tomato juice and stuff, you know, mm -hmm. those beers. And that's great. And I appreciate you joining the channel, man. That's pretty awesome. Thank you very much. I will. <laughs> I will send you a fucking hot sauce, man. Uh, that's uh wow, that's that's 24 members. <clears throat> All right, so another winner for Marjorie. Let's do this. Uh Mark, Mark Z is back. Uh, do you have a menstrual Mary. <laughs> Mark, what's up with the uh what's up with the uh I thought it was Mark Z. Is this another channel? You got two channels, Mark. Prometheus. <clears throat> I thought I thought uh, Mark was going to bed earlier. But, all right, he's back. Let's do this. Here's another winner. Marjorie Stockings, full of seeds. Russell Stewart. <laughs> Holy shit. Marjorie's fucked with the, with the shipping. <laughs> I'm gonna help her with the shipping. You know no, you know what? Sound, Rob said he only he didn't want he didn't need the stocking, he only wanted the seeds. So if she, maybe we can <laughs> send <laughs> Wow <Wapabalu. laughs> I don't mind. I, I can. I don't mind passing mine on to someone else, or if she just wants to do the seeds, and I can send them to Rob and two birds one stone kind of thing. I don't know, man. You guys figure it out. <laughs> no, I'll. 
I'll help her ship them because, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, it's, I mean, the stocking shouldn't be much weight to that, right? It's like, no, you could probably fold it up a bit and put it in like a, just an, a, a, a padded envelope. Yeah, that, I don't think that'll take much. So, congrats, Russell. You just want to stocking is pretty cool it has peppers yeah. on, on the thing and that's awesome yeah appreciate so, it but i feel like uh i feel like someone else should win i don't know all right so we're up to uh two pepper donkey seeds pack one is from william leitner one is from joseph uh, uh joseph joseph williams right that kind of confused me. William Leitner and Joseph Williams. Is that what the flyer says? What? Are we having a moment of silence? Yeah, I was just checking out something. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so we're using the same video for the, no, I was just trying to see, yeah, it is Joseph Williams, it's Joseph Williams and William Leitner, Pepper Donkey Seeds Pack, two of them, full force going out, Jesse Pepper Dude is here, what's up, y'all? What's up, Jesse? Why the fuck don't I get notifications anymore? <laughs> yeah, I don't get the, I don't get them either. Usually, it's always to my phone. Like, YouTube on no toy. Hey, I I posted. I always post a flyer to uh, to Reddit pepper lovers even more than I do Facebook pepper lovers because. Sometimes I'm afraid Facebook pepper lovers will take it the wrong way. <laughs> no, it's just that I got more haters over there. So I'm always careful not to have, uh, you know, these buttholes called uh, self-promotion or whatever the fuck. But if there's a giveaway in, in the title, you know, I'm like, you know, screw you, man. I don't give a shit. But... You know, it's not like I'm just saying, oh, come check out my stream. I'm live, <laughs> you know. <laughs> There's a giveaway. <laughs> I'm my stream. Yeah, Pepper Lovers is on Reddit, man. What are you talking about, Jesse? <laughs> Pepper Lovers is on Reddit. I will admit, man, I was trying to post that fucking fly. <laughs> And it takes like three tries, man. I'm like, why? Why can I not? Why did the pick is unable to post? What the? F what's the matter with you? But yeah, we are on Reddit, and uh, <clears throat> all right. Let's reload this this video. This is for we're fifteen minutes away from three hours, and I gotta work tomorrow. So, so we only only two hours more we can do. That's it. Oh yeah, uh, Michelle Tran is saying <laughs> you have haters. <laughs> oh, oh, oh Michelle, oh, oh Michelle, oh. Oh, Michelle. 
The, well, fucking number one hater, this prick named Rich Blood, he's fucking finally blocked me. <clears throat> fucking toast to that. I never blocked him, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because, <laughs> because <laughs> I always said, you know what? I'm not going to block my haters. Keep it coming. There will be nobody left. But, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. Andrew Bitchin' Bottoms. Andrew Bitchin' Bottoms. <laughs> he got kicked oh, out first. Andrew got kicked out of Pepper Lovers. So then he went. Then he went and tried to troll me on fucking uh, on Reddit, and you know I said I I, I called Jesse. I, I said, listen, man, what the fuck is up with this dude? This fucking dickwad over here, and fucking Jesse. <laughs> oh man, Jesse, you're too much. Jesse fucking trolls me right along with him, saying, "Hey, the only one, <laughs> the only ones that had a problem with you, with him, is you and fucking Susan." And I'm like, "What? Are you fucking kidding me? There's tons of people that hate this fucking prick." Called him smart or some shit. I'm like, <laughs> Smart <laughs> fucking internet internet reading bullshit reading is not fucking smart, Jesse. Fuck that shit. Have you seen my fucking peppers? Am I going around fucking preaching? shit I find on the internet and saying I'm fucking smart? No, I just I'm just growing my fucking peppers, Jesse. Same thing with dick blood. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, you know she control. Same thing with dick blood. Motherfucker loves saying, oh, you should read a book because blah 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 blah. And I, and I fucking I messaged him before he blocked me and told me that dumb shit. I messaged him. I said, "Hey, hey, I went and, and I went and found that book. I read up on it, and I I feel like a better gardener already. I I even see the difference in my plants. Seriously, <laughs> and he's laughing his ass off right along with me. It was all fun and games, but." You know, I made fun of some skirt he was wearing, and boom, I'm fucking blocked. You know, isn't there like, didn't your parents ever tell you never make fun of a man's skirt? Yeah, he told me that. He threatened to call, uh, you know, lesbian and bisexual and transgender groups on me and whatever. And, and I said, whoa, dude, I am sorry. And he even said, uh, oh, oh, I'm going to tell everybody you voted for Trump and all this crap. And I'm like, what? How do you even know that? You're, you're watching my streams, dude? And he's like, oh, yeah, I watch you all the time. You're, you're, I'm, I'm like your number one super chatter. I'm like, yeah, chatter. Chatter, all right. <laughs> but, yeah. You 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 don't you don't notice I always get a thumbs down or two. That's him and his boyfriend uh, sire. All right, Pepper Donkey sees pack right here. Yo, wait, I feel like I'm missing some stuff here. Who, who are we talking about?
You see who won that? There's a fucking ad in the way. Who's that? Mm -hmm. Wow. Doug Mate. Doug Mate just won a Pepper Donkey Seeds Pack from William Leitner and Willie, uh, Joseph Williams. But uh, we need uh, we need Doug Mate here. We need him to be here. Come on, Doug. Don't fail us. Doug is right here. He just commented. Congrats, Doug. Wow, I got to pee again, man. But no, seriously, yeah. Uh, we're talking about, uh, you know, period blood. <laughs> These guys are trolls, man. He, he, Wait, you're, talking about, you're, talking about, you're still talking about rich blood. Or rich yeah. blood. The whole thing with the skirt you were just talking about and the whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but is he's he's not gay, is he? Not that I don't give a shit, but I mean, because you're saying like, oh, him and his boyfriend, whatever. I, there's pictures of him like kissing some girl and like with a fiance or something. No. Yeah, no, I I just I'm just being a dick when I say his okay, boyfriend. But what I mean, okay, tired because he defends him like his his fucking boyfriend. Okay, so that's fine. But what I mean, if someone if a man's gonna wear a dress and you make a joke about it and he threatens to call and complain to all these associations or these right groups. But he's not gay himself. You can't. That's that's bullshit. If I'm a straight man and I put on a dress and you make fun of me, I'm not gonna threaten to, you know, call like. Yeah, he. he I don't know. know. He called it. He called it uh, Sri Lankan. Uh, gay oh, so it wasn't like he wasn't like wearing a dress. He was like it was like some type of. It was like a sari or something. You're talking about like a. It was a cultural skirt. Like a Sri Lanka mm -hmm. culture skirt. Man skirt, I guess. All right. But what does it have to do with. That is nothing. He's not. If he's not gay, he can't threaten you for being. Anyway, whatever, man. Just. <laughs> you're not. If you're not making whatever. <laughs> no, it's 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 not a kilt. I wish it was a kilt. It was it was some it was some horrible Sri Lankan man skirt. All right. My only my only thing with he has this air of like self importance and holier than thou bullshit all the time when it comes to anything. Yeah, like yeah. The picture with the skirt. He. He had his his long hair flowing freely, and his arms open like he's always like you know. Someone said before when we were friends, someone said something about like, "Oh, you look like Jesus Christ, whatever." And he ran with that. And look at his shit, uh, you know, Pepper Poo Poo, the Guru, the Poo Poo Guru, like. Oh, come on, dude! Get over yourself. I remember, yeah, the, I remember one of my first, one of my early posts in the group was, or I was responding to something, and I, I just used like particular terms just to make it easier for the person I was answering. Like, I called the peppers like I called them fruits, just for the simplicity of. I don't remember the whole thing, and he responded with some fucking condescending. Thing and, I, was, and I, I called him. Out. I was like, "Dude, there's no need to be a fucking. There's no need for the condescending bullshit. I you know whatever." And, and he, he apologized, but then every I noticed every post, every comment he makes, it's always just like, "Well, I'm up here, you're down here." And I'm He's like, a total fucking prick, man. Well, Try not just you know, <laughs> not just you and me. <laughs> He's been picking on Ron actually lately. <laughs> yeah, well, in you know, we we all pick on Ron, and it's not because we don't, don't like Ron. It's just we don't know if he actually exists. But yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, this dude, he uh, he's he totally thinks he's above everybody. Some people like him. Some people defend him. I I wanted to. 
uh, I wanted to, uh, you know, I wanted to be friends with him. I was friends with him at a time, but it's hard. He, he trolls, he goes trolling and he thinks certain shit is funny. Like he'll troll on pepper lovers. Like what is Kang's, what is Kang all about? For example, the two, the double cup method. That's one of Kang's uh, trademark things, right? So yeah. what, does, what does Rich Blood do? He creates a meme, you know, kind of shitting on the double cup method. And uh, he posted, he posted on Pepper Lovers, but disable comments. And then he posted on Pepper Poo Poo you know, with comments. And he goes over there to laugh about it with his lackeys and people that like him. And, you know, he's all over there like, like, oh, uh, you know, I disable comments, you know. And, uh, oh, you, you mm -hmm. bastard. You know, and they're, they're just, I'm like, you're fucking troll, dude. You got no fucking shame. You think you're better than everybody. He actually, uh, you know, he says shit like, uh, I, I, I saw him tell Jim Farrell, if, if you're interested in production, uh, do not top your plans. <laughs> so... So you're telling me that all this stuff about higher yields, uh, topping your plants for higher yields is all bullshit and you know the real deal. Never top your plants so you can get more peppers. Is that... <clears throat> all right. Yeah, I think he's gone for pepper poo poo. How's everybody doing? I'm all right. You know. This is always goes so long. We don't even talk about anything. I said, hey, Russ, you want to come on? I only have a few beers left. Live. Ox.
type of Jesus. Like I got, I got nothing really against the guy. I mean, I've only had a few. I mean, I, you know, we're all parts of the same community, but my few encounters with him are always like he's just, he's, dude, he just thinks he's better than everybody. I mean, who doesn't, right? I just keep it to myself. No. Yeah, I gotta quit drinking again, man. It's yeah, Rich. He's a citizen. It just comes like some snooty bullshit. And was yeah, I gotta quit drinking again. It was after the last time I was on. Watched a bit of it back towards the end. Ooh. A little much. I do kind of want whiskey now, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm the best quitter. Every time with the other quitter. I don't quit. I take breaks. I mean, it's not a real break. It's like, you know, if you have a job and you have a break, you don't know, like, you, know, you go run outside for a quick cigarette. So I don't really take a break. Yes, Reggie, let's all drink some whiskey. You know what? Let's do it. I don't want to leave you now, though, because who knows when this guy's coming back. I'll wait till I hear stumbling and things falling, and then, oh, here we go. I heard rattling. Drinking, drinking can be a job. Round time. <laughs> so. Uh... The uh, the pepper donkey seeds pack was that just one or I don't think we did that yet, did we? Oh yeah, you did. It was Doug. Doug, you got one more, right? One of the many Dougs. Okay, but hold on, I gotta go get whiskey first. We're all having. You missed it. You're not. You're not invited. It's it's uh, whiskey time. So. Really, I got whiskey. Well then, let's do it. As Michelle Tran said, you were probably having one of your uh, magic marker moments, so, so you might you missed the conversation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, just... I don't know if that's exactly how she put it, but uh, wait a minute, Chris, Chris Cannon just changed no. his permanent marker. Yeah. Chris Cannon just changed his name to Krista Cannon. I refuse to believe I read that wrong earlier. It was Chris Cannon, right? Now it's Krista Cannon, right? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Wow. I, I don't think I was that drunk. But I mean, it, 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 she may have always been a Krista, but the name was Chris just for simplicity purposes. Or just for whatever purpose, and then she said, yeah, yeah, but I, My question is, was it always Krista, and I read Chris earlier, or was it changed in the last hour or two? Uh, you have to ask the... Uh... <laughs> okay. Sorry. I, I, I'm pretty sure I read Chris before... <laughs> All right, Krista. All right, yeah. No, I, I don't know. Yeah, and it, it, I, I thought like Chris Cannon, the Chris Cannon. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know Chris Cannon. Okay, well I'm gonna get some whiskey just because I told people I would. All right, you should I get mine before you or? 
after you i mean are we worried about etiquette here i don't know if is that is that a new thing no because you're gonna leave people staring at that's why i didn't that's actually why i didn't get mine because i was like he's gone i'll wait all right, all right. So you, I will, you know what i'll be quick so let me go <laughs> <laughs> so i won't be quick Probably the smarter choice, Marjorie. Surrounded by liquids. We're meeting now. This is just this is just some Canadian club. Usually, I usually have a variety on hand, but this is the last bottle I have left before I go out and restock, which I should do tomorrow, especially with the curfew coming. I'm sure, T. Bryn de Bois, I'm sure you uh excited for our curfew, but. Yes, I might have to pick up some better. But, the, you know, Canadian Club's not bad. The eight year is actually pretty nice. It's quite good, actually. This is just a fancy sip. But tasty, does the job. Cold up here. You too, Marjorie. Stay safe. Uh, uh, who's leaving us? You or Marjorie? Oh, no, she well, was talking about someone asking what kind of whiskey it was, and I was explaining something when I was mentioning our curfew. She said, stay safe. I said thanks. Oh, okay. you. I mean, I've been pretty safe. Like we, I thought yeah. Marjorie was leaving us. It's yes. Yeah, stay safe means be careful, right? Yeah. Costco rum, any good? <laughs> wow. And then Jesse says $13.99 for that shit. <laughs> <That's a question. laughs> get my bottle. What, what, this, what so. are you drinking? I'm drinking. It's, it's just a Canadian club. It's just like a. I mean, like I was saying, but that's what I was saying before. It's I usually it's usually the last bottle I, I open during like my stock up. I have a few things, but now I'm down to. Like there's maybe a drop left after this. Like it's not even. I gotta go. I gotta go tomorrow and pick up some some more bottles. Yeah, I mean I I don't get like multiple bottles at a time like you, but when I can't splurge on my uh, you know the Glen Levitt and shit like that, mm -hmm. McAllen or this is a nice one and it's it's not expensive. I'm gonna hold on. I'm look at the bigger screen when it pops up. It's delayed on 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 my TV here. All right, laddie. It's still a more to do. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, <clears throat> tell him, tell him Sounds. Tell him do, you blarney bastard. This is eleven ninety nine at Costco. <laughs> this really? <laughs> Shit! I'm kidding. I'm... This is fucking cheap. I'm gonna um, move to Canada if this shit's eleven ninety nine over there. No, I don't think there's a crown apple or vanilla. No, no. If you're gonna do crown for me, William. William Lighter. I don't. If I'm in, I don't like fruits or flavoring in my alcohol. It's like a clean. Yeah. It's a personal preference. I know some people like this, you know. I don't like uh, any of the flavored shit. I want to yeah. taste. I want to taste the, the taste the barrel and the bullshit, you know. Yep. Yeah, I don't like that shit. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> please, nobody take offense to this, but I always say that shit's for women and gays. <laughs> Didn't we just have this conversation a minute ago about about coffee, right? Because I say the same thing about hazelnut and and stuff like that in coffee. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm the same way. I like I like my coffee. I I have my my Lavazza, the, the espresso. Is... <laughs> Pretty plain and simple. Uh, uh, Crown, yeah, Crown is pretty good. I got, I've gotten a few bottles of Crown, and a bear, bear actually sent me the the apple, the green apple flavor Crown. <laughs> I remember. I, I, it was it was last holiday season last year, and I think I got the Rona early or something. But I was sick as a dog on Christmas Eve. I I felt the same way. Even me, you, and, and Graham were all talking about this. I feel the same way, man. Last year, like right after the holidays, I was super fucking sick. Yeah, yeah. I I I keep saying it. I I spent. I spent New Year's Day. I uh, New Year's Day. I, I try to go. I try to go to the family gathering, and I. I couldn't, man. I was I was fucked. I said, "Yo, yo, take me back home." I I needed to. Uh, <clears throat> I needed to. I needed to be away from people. I, I couldn't. I was totally destroyed, and I, I spent the day. I spent the day with my cat. <laughs> my cat still lived here at the time, and and it was me, the cat. I watched like three movies with with my bottle of uh, green apple crown royal that uh, Bear has sent for Christmas. Well, it's vitamin C. It's got in there, so it's good for you, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that got me out of it, actually. Me, whenever I'm, when I'm sick, where I feel like I'm getting sick, like I'll I'll go heavy on on the bourbon or the whiskey, and I, I don't know if it helps or not, but I definitely just drink enough. To, I drink enough constantly enough days in a row, and then all of a sudden I'm not sick anymore. So yeah. Either I just feel, skip it all mentally. Actually, now I just feel. Like, Rona killer. <laughs> dip, your fingers, dip your fingers and put them up your nose. All right, man. This, this Rona shit. This shit is crazy, man. It was like what a year ago we started talking about this. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's like now there's like all kinds of variants that are just spreading quicker and they're mutating like. I don't know, man. I just want to get. Doing, you gotta start doing your show like three nights a week, because people All have right. nothing to do, man. All right, Doug may want the first Pepper Donkey seed pack. Let's pick another winner for a second Pepper Donkey seed pack from Joseph William and William Leitner. Another winner. There we go.
Boss Gross. Boss Gross. You, you. All right, man. Congratulations, Boss Gross. Awesome, cool dude right there. One of my one of my homies from Reddit, Discord, and Instagram. <clears throat> we just uh, need him to be here. I thought didn't he leave? He said good night. I'm pretty sure he said good night a while back. Oh yeah. But I'm not I'm not a, a necessarily a reliable source of information. So <laughs> No, I, I thought he said I thought he said he couldn't smoke weed because of the random drug testing. No? I, I mean maybe he said that also, but I don't know what that has to do with what we're talking about. Yeah, I think he's gone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the boss man left. Taco seeds. Boss grows. Come on, boss. I also have some grow bags at some point I have to give away that I'm not going to use. So we we'll don't do that tonight. You can do it another time if you want, whatever. But I got, I got. 20 gallons, man. 20 gallon root pouches? Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot. We talk about those for a year, man. I know. I still, I, I just sent out two. I sent one to uh, Nate and Amanda. I sent their hot sauce wrapped in one. I should have sent one to Paula. Paula always uses. Paula's a huge gardener. But uh, I don't know. I, I those things uh, you you, <laughs> you better fill them up where where you're gonna leave them <laughs> because twenty gallons of soil is not something you should move around too much. No, same. I think I filled one or two, and it's oh. It takes some effort to move them. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be filling a lot of those, man. I, I need a, I need another uh, yard of soil just to, just to fill the couple. That's crazy. Well, that's it. Like, I got – I have – I have a ton of different – I have some seven gallons, some five gallons, and a bunch of three gallons, which nothing big. Like I have maybe maybe forty bags in total, but I've slowly been leaning towards hydroponics mm. and like cracky and whatever, because it's just I find like stuff I have in my tent, they just get so much bigger, so much faster, and they produce much quicker. And I'm like, why, you know? I get dirt all over the place when I can just splash around in some juice, you know? It works, man. So I have all these bags that I might not use. <laughs> I can't feel a 20 gallon, but I sure can't rub the side. Fucking <laughs> <an> asshole. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so uh, Boss Grows left us. In all fairness, uh, we have to pick someone else. Uh, Jesse Go is about to leave us. Good night, Jesse. Uh, don't leave just yet, because if you win. <laughs> Because if you win this seeds pack and you're not here, we'll pick someone else like we did Boss Gross. Boss Gross, yeah, Boss Gross left us. Taco Seeds 2021. Most sought after ever. <clears throat> Mm. 
Um, I just stocked up on liquor to make some vanilla extract. What? How? <laughs> All right, uh, boss grows works tomorrow. He had to go. Uh, we're picking another winner for the second Pepper Donkey Seeds pack. Here we go. Hopefully, it's somebody that's still here. Drifted still here. Drifted. Drifted. Where's Drifted from? Reddit. Reddit. I, I believe Drifted is, might be from Reddit. Doesn't sound like the. <clears throat> All right. Drifted is here. Says so sweet. Facebook. Facebook. And, uh, Every donkey sees pack drifted. Contact me on uh... all right, Russell. You got a good memory, right? The one chip challenge went to Rob Schaller, correct? And three Christmas. Stockings. I think it was William was it William Lightner? Soundquest Robin and me, I believe. And then the first seed pack was uh Doug Mate. Doug Mate. I just <laughs> I just sent out a package to Doug today. Um uh, Life's a bitch. So it, it was uh, SoundQuest, it was William Leitner, SoundQuest, and Russell Stewart. Well, I mean I've already spoken Marjorie's already written me for details and things, so you don't have to worry about that. All right. Uh, and Pepper Donkey Seeds Pack PD Seeds Pack. <clears throat> That's not fun. <clears throat> um, the seas pack went to Doug May. And once again, if anybody knows who Luckily Not Alive is, it's, it's, come on, somebody got to know this guy. Reddit, where's he from? He's a freaking channel member. Nobody knows this dude? It's your channel. Yeah, but he's he's just luckily not alive here. I, he he got to be from a fucking pepper group. I think I just got... Oh, there you go. Drifted is here. Oh, shit. Yeah, I just won. You know, I forgot. I forgot this was Drifted. And uh, I saw your post about cleaning up your Facebook. About, you know, people that don't interact in your shit and shit like that. And I was going to comment like, yo, I'm here, man. I see your shit. 
<laughs> but um yeah i didn't know that was you and uh i'm about to do the same thing i, I got people that I know don't like me for a fact. Either don't like me or listen to my haters because they do all not. That, all that drama, man. You got too much drama, bet. I know, man. I know. For example, that's what Christian Ritter said. Christian Ritter. Christian Ritter. <laughs> all right, I'm going to spare you because that's your boy from your group. Whatever the fuck. Look. I don't even know the guy to be honest. We've never spoken. He when he the comment he made that day, I'm pretty sure he was talking about me also. Cuz he got annoyed with me the day before because I blocked somebody. And then when you uh, so I think he was talking I'm pretty sure he was talking to both of us. I don't even know who the guy is to be honest. I don't know anything. He's not uh, whatever anyway. Well, I feel, like, I feel like we can't we shouldn't just spend our time here talking shit about people cuz that's what it's become. But people. Well, uh, here's the answer to your question: Did he block you? No idea. I don't. I I don't see any posts or anything from him at all. But all you gotta do is click on his profile. If you get the wrench saying something went wrong, he fucking blocked yeah, you. I don't. I don't care enough to click on his shit. Anyway, he blocked me. He blocked me. I never interacted with the dude. I never. I never had any problems with him. He's. He's probably friends uh, with Bitch Blood or one of these fucking assholes. And, uh, yeah, he left the group. He actually left the group saying that there's people here that are not even active and and they're, they're removing people. I removed a major drunk asshole that caused people to leave the group. Yeah, and that was that was a, that was fun. That whole situation. I don't, huh? That whole situation was pretty entertaining. Yeah, it was. It was that that Mark Uziel or Ezekiel, whatever the yeah. fuck. That's a hilarious. Uziel, the fucker. That dude is fucking funny, man. Wow. Whatever. He went to my. Uh, on your personal shit, running around like anything you can comment on, he would just complaining. Yeah, he's he's fucking nuts. And and then you go to his page, and uh, he talks to himself like he tries to get people on there on his arguments, and nobody comments. And then he's he talks to himself, he answers to himself. I'm like, holy shit, dude. But anyway. Uh, yeah, this uh, Mark, uh, what's his name? Christian Ritter. He fucking leaves the group. He's a moderator where we are. He leaves the group saying, oh, I'm leaving because uh, you got you got admins here that are not even active and they're removing people. I'm like, what? <laughs> I just removed a freaking jerk. That made yeah, people someone who deserve to be removed. Yeah, a drunken asshole. That everybody, I could show you how many people commented like, "Oh, finally, this dude is out of here." Oh my god, such a drama guy, and blah blah blah. But then the same guy that says this, fucking Christian Ritter, he tries to go and post a sale on the marketplace where I am an admin. So I, I, I saw it and I'm like, holy shit, this is the dude that just left the admin group and blocked me because I did click on his profile to see what he was about when I saw the comment and I found that I was blocked. So I'm like, okay, he's obviously talking about me. So I'm like, okay, uh, in the marketplace, if you block an admin, you're not rocking here. You're fucking no, out. No, that's it. You bounce immediately. Yeah. You know, unlike freaks where, you know, that matter. Matter. <laughs> whatever. But uh, so I removed him. I said, all right, you, you cannot block an admin here. So, you know, 
I'll be fucking damn. I'm going to let you sell your crappy candy where I'm fucking running shit. You just blocked me for no reason. I never had a fight with him. I never had no interaction with him. And uh, yeah, so I block him. And instead of contacting me, <laughs> he goes to he goes to my partner and says some dumb shit like or pretending to be dumb. Oh, any particular reason why I'm blocked from the marketplace? Well, you know, judging by his his profile pic with the Viking thing going on, it's like, you know. Any particular reason why I'm blocked from the marketplace? <laughs> but my partner is like, you know, uh, you know, whenever somebody gets blocked from the marketplace, my partner usually turns to me. So he he shows me what's going on. <laughs> he shows me the question, and I say, "Oh, that guy just blocked me. He's." He, he left this group. I showed him what's going on. And he's like, oh, yeah. So my partner goes back to him. Uh, my partner goes back to him and says, uh, do you have an admin block there? <laughs> he's like, not that I know of. I'm like, motherfucker, you went, you went to the group. And even though... You had blocked me. You were able to see me on there as an admin because even though you blocked me, if you look at a at a at admins in a certain group that you're part of, you still see me. You still see me even though you blocked me. Don't don't think we're fucking stupid. So he's like, not that I know of. So my partner says, do you have hand feel blocked? And he's like, oh, Batman's an admin there? That's okay. I'll just stay out. Oh, that's okay. I'll just stay out. <laughs> Everyone, the new, new host next week, are gonna, it's going to be Viking Christian and Nigerian Ron. Tune in next week, same, same time, same channel. Viking Christian Nigerian Ron take over the show. Yeah, not that I know of because <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm on the next comment. Yeah, not <laughs> oh, Batman's an admin there. That's okay. I'll stay out because that guy is full of drama, all drama, and as you can see. There's a lot of people that don't like him. So my partner says, okay, good luck. <laughs> He's where do you, uh, this, side note, where do you think, what exactly do you think Vikings are? <laughs> like cavemen? Uh, no, but uh, I watched mm -hmm. Vikings, the series, and some of them do talk like that. Really? Because I don't actually know. I haven't I watched. I thought about watching it. Is it good? Shit. Yeah, some of them are actually pretty barbaric. Yeah, and, that I know. Uh, the one, <laughs> the one Christian pick as a profile pick looks barbaric. Yeah, it's true. It's true. He looks like he talks exactly like I'm doing. You know what I mean? So he he uh, reinserts after my after my partner said. Okay, good luck, you know, whatever. Peace. You know, and my partner was polite. He didn't, yeah. my partner didn't take my side. My partner's not into this sh bullshit. So he comes back and says, uh, a lot of groups, <laughs> a lot of groups are cool with it. <laughs> Tell me, how, how many groups are we talking about? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> a lot of groups are okay with it. I'll just go sell my candy over there. And, and you know, if you look around, 
A lot of people don't like Batman. He's full of drama. I'll just stay away from him and his drama. So I said, you know what? Fuck this piece of shit. He don't fucking I never interacted with him. I don't I don't know who the fuck he is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either, to be honest. I really All don't. of a sudden he knows me and my drama. Fuck you, asshole. You're you're friends with some dick that had a fight with me. Either either you were involved in the Jim Moon Hall trolling bullshit. Or you were friends with Rich Blood and the Dick Brigade. One or the other. I don't I don't have like a ton of enemies, but those are some. So you know what's hilarious though is we're sitting here, we're talking about this, and anybody watching this, all they think is that they're like, oh, this these people are just all drama. All we've been doing is talking shit about yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> totally, totally. But uh but it's deserved because it's it's mostly yeah, because I'm I'm telling you, look. Look, it's legitimate shit. Yeah, I'm on let's, this. let's end the the Christian Ritter deal. After he says all that to my partner, right? All right. Fun, and, fun question: Are we talking about your lover or your business partner? <laughs> no, not not my life partner, laddie. It's my <laughs> it's my business partner, laddie. You bloody bastard! You blarney devil! So, end the story. My partner is polite. He doesn't say shit to him. He 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 shits on me without knowing me, or maybe he does know me. He heard of me. I'm kind of flattered, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, he goes on. Good night, everybody that's leaving us. Yeah, he goes on and. Uh, and uh, everybody knows that you cannot sell on pepper lovers. No, nope. come on. Who doesn't know you can't sell on pepper lovers? You gotta go to the marketplace, but, and we all know this. Everybody knows this. Yeah, but some of them think that selling in the comments it's okay, as long as I don't make a post. But hey, hey, <laughs> Viking Christian Ritter thought it was okay. He thought he'd be slick and break the rules and go sell in the fucking comments. So he gets a comment removed. He gets a comment removed because he's selling. He straight up lays out his shit with pictures and everything. Mm -hmm. And his comment got removed. What does he do? He goes... To one of the admins and emojis the middle finger. Then he doesn't emoji laugh, you know, the 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 sideways laugh your ass off. Not once, but like a ton, and then one one one. One, 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 one. I'm like, yo, <laughs> you are, <laughs> you are sick. You're sick, man. I mean, I can show you this shit, but I'm not going to waste my time because Christian Ritter, death to me, shit to me. Christian Ritter can kiss my ass. Uh, so, yeah, we're done here. We're done ranting. Russ, I hope. Russell, you still there? Uh, you're frozen. I hope. Russell. Russell. Russ, I hope all that. I hope the blood doesn't run all to your head. But, uh,. <laughs> My other phone just died. Well, good night, guys. I gotta go. Uh, uh, bro, 
Russ, thanks for joining me. And uh, wait, wait, Russ is not done just yet. <laughs> I was like, Russell, I hope all that blood is not going all to your head. <laughs> Make some adjustments, you know. I'm surrounded by beer cans and devices. So it's either I can always find a way to rejoin the party. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to see who was still left because a bunch of people left. I was like, we still have the video, it'd be very easy. I'm like, whoever's here, I'll just like can give away some shit. But there's a lot of people not here. If it's the same video, it might be tricky. I don't know, man. Shit. Yeah. Half of them are not here that commented on that video. There's 15 quitters, 15 viewing right now. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a ground rule. 15, <laughs> well, it's under 15. Is If one more leaves, we're done. <laughs> I'm forced to sign off. I always say that. Under 15 viewers, I got to go, man. <laughs> No, but uh, it, it wouldn't be a good uh, – how about next week? I don't have much plan for next week. If you don't, we can <laughs> we can come back here and give away some shit. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe I can uh, – I have a curfew starting on Saturday, so I, I'm available anytime. <laughs> I'm not even allowed to leave the fucking house. We just – Kicked it up to 16. Somebody else came back. <laughs> I'll make sure we don't leave. Some people went and signed in on other profiles to make sure that well, it's time to. Yeah, now it's 16. <clears throat> so, you know, yeah, I think next week is good. I got to work tomorrow. I, I'll be, I'll be a fucking zombie. And, uh, <clears throat> Uh, something happened at work. <laughs> More drama? <laughs> no, but I work. I work in a building. I work in a residential building, so shit happens. You know, there's there's forty floors of tenants, two buildings, forty floors. That's eighty floors. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Math? What? Forty floors of two. What? Say that again. Two buildings, forty floors each, Russell. Yeah, okay, that's eighty floors. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm with you. I'm with so, you. Uh, Not even alcohol. I just I wasn't it's, listening. It's, uh, basically, that translates to eighty times the Rona possibility. <laughs> eighty times Rona danger. <laughs> So yeah, I I got a <laughs> It fucking sucks, man. I did it. I did it and that you know, that thing about touching your brain with the the thing. Have you done it? Have I touched my brain? Have you gotten tested? I have. Yeah, yeah I've been tested. You go up, up your nose and down, down your throat. Yeah, yeah. It either goes up to your brain or down your throat. <laughs> oh, me, me. They did both. Yeah, it was. They did up. They did the nose, and it was like a. It was a bit of a tickle. I mean, the the throat thing was a bit strange. I was not definitely not something I was accustomed to. Um. But it was fine. I mean, it wasn't the end of the world. My test was negative. It makes me it sneeze. Well I, I sneeze like while while they're doing it it's like but that's you know what you'll probably you'll probably get better test results that way yeah sure. the, more, the more mucus uh you know yeah but but you can get out the shit the better that uh, uh can you leave me alone <laughs> hey don't forget yeah well do i need all this shit so anyway yeah, this is what I'm in for before work tomorrow. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go get this. <laughs> they want oh, me to get tested. Get it done. 
Yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna be a pussy. What am I gonna do? Quit? <laughs> what can we do, man? Got to get back to work. That's it. I mean, like I mean, I mean, I like I said, we we kind of flip houses and shit. So I technically work from home, but I have to be able to go buy the shit I need and do whatever. And they announced these new restrictions today. And originally they were saying they were shutting down construction and everything. So we weren't, I wasn't oh, sure. Uh, Rob, Rob, what are they, what type is the CBS? Anal. It's anal. Right up the ass. <laughs> But it's a lot. But the, the Q-tip's a lot smaller. It's a lot shorter, so it's not that bad. He said, "He said easier, Russell." Uh, I said it was a shorter Q-tip. What's what's the problem? Uh, Rob, what what's the deal with CBS? Is it up your nose? Is it the saliva, or is or what? Eight o'clock curfew, Krista. Sorry, I didn't mean, Krista asked what time the curfew was. Eight o'clock curfew starting on Saturday. Just fucking crazy. Like we're like the only city in North America all of a sudden was putting a curfew, and it's not like it's just it's just to punish people for. And starting partying. on Saturday. You want me to? You want me to write you a essential worker? Letter? No, I'm I'm fucking I'm getting get I'm getting power. old, man. I don't want to I don't want to leave the house after eight o'clock. I'm happy, man. <laughs> I'm fine with that shit. I got yeah, same I here. I don't got nowhere to be, man. I can't go to a bar. I can't go to I can't go nowhere. What the fuck's the point? Sit yeah. here. I got I got some. I I usually mean, have we can, good alcohol. We can still go to bars here, but oh, okay. Yeah, but is it going to be accurate, Rob? Do I need to, uh, you know, you can cheat and not, you can cheat and not touch your brain. <laughs> because they're letting, you, they're letting you do it yourself. I'm going to do it. They let me do that shit myself. I'm not going to touch my brain like the doctor does. <laughs> You can't even find it. Yeah, in your nose. Oh my, gotta... You know what they say, right? Like, why? Why is uh, you know, what's up with the six feet apart thing, and don't get close to people six feet apart, but. But then you need to stick this shit up my brain for the test. Uh, so <laughs> a little bit doesn't make sense. Like, oh, oh, six feet apart, six feet apart. But then... To get a fucking sample, I gotta go up your fucking nose till you fucking sneeze. Who do I believe? Uh. <laughs> Why do you have to use the middle finger? Who's that, me? What? What? Oh, she watches you. You have to. Oh, so I guess the swab, like, let's say this is the swab, right? And this is the this is the goal line. So until until this line is is isn't hidden up your fucking nose, she'll be like, "Hey, you're fucking cheating. Get it up there." But who's cheating on? Who's cheating on fucking tests? Uh, Rob Schaller says you can go to CVS and they let you do it yourself. But she watches you to make sure you're not cheating. So like a drug test. like It's like a piss test. 
Yeah, kind of. Because I said, hey, you let me do that shit myself. I'm not going to stick it up to my brain like the doctors do. How how low in your skull is your brain? You might if I ask. Like, you know they go to, like, here, right? Like, it's not... Huh? Oh, no, never mind. Okay. I got, I got the answer. Yeah, yeah, you know, we're, we're not... We're not being literal, but... No, I know, I know. It's it it is it's it's. It's pretty. I mean, I guess I, I did it. It was for me. It was a little. It was it was, a, it was mildly uncomfortable. But. What? Huh? Yo, my last test was three swabs. It was two. No, it wasn't three. Because, right. because you didn't get you got one test done. I got I get two. I get the rapid. That takes three minutes, and I get the ones that get sent to the lab. Takes twenty four to forty eight hours or whatever. And the uh, the rapid, they have to stick it in both both nostrils. So it goes up here, it goes up here, and that's the rapid. And then for the lab, it's just one. The lab just needs one. It's like a Department of Redundancy department. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, though, to me. Yeah, it's a... Uh, the nostrils, they both... They both... <laughs> they both... They lead to the same place. I don't know why you would need to do both. Yeah. Your eyes will water, like Rob says. I, I was sneezing. It, it's, yeah, my eyes watered. Yeah, 100%. It fucking sucks, man. Well, I, when I went, the guy who was administering my test was being trained by somebody else. So literally everything he did, the woman who was training him was like, well, no, 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 you don't want to do that. Like, protect yourself while you're testing him. And he's like, oh, yeah, right, because I was sick. Like, I had I had the symptoms, you know, I had the like, symptoms of a cold. But he's, and he was fucking, sh the guy was shaking. I swear, like, he was, he was shaking, like, he was scared. I don't like I don't, first day on the job and he just didn't want to fuck it up or like he was already sick and he had a fever and he just had the chills. No, he's like, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna yeah. die for this motherfucker right here. So imagine you're sitting there on this thing and they're like, make sure everything is clean and this and that, and you take all these fucking precautions, and then a guy comes in with a q tip and he's like, eh. I'm like, what the fuck's the point of the precautions? But I felt bad for the guy. I was like, yeah, <laughs> I felt bad. I was like, I left and I was like, you know, and in, in, in French we say bon courage, which means like, you know, bon courage, like good luck, stick with it, you'll be fine kind of thing. But he was just, he was fucking shaking and sweat, like his nerves, like sweating through his like fucking Darth Vader suit and shaking and you're like, and if you're someone going there for a COVID test, you look at this guy and you're like, I'm pretty sure he has it. Why is he testing me? And you realize that, but you know, it's just nerves and you feel bad for the dude. And the woman's like, no, no, just, yeah. you know, <laughs> I'm like, come on. I didn't think I had it, but I was sick and I was like, I'm going to, I'll get tested just for other people. The nurse should have just told you, he doesn't have it. He's just pissing his fucking pants. <laughs> That was the fuck. That was like I go in. You have to. You go in. There's a guy who opens the door for you, and like you go in. Like it's like an appointment every few minutes to keep it not crowded, right? And you have a one guy opens the door, and he's like, "Okay, come here. Step on. Step on the X, basically, and then come here." And he checks some things, and he go there, and you have to register this little window, which is all covered in plexiglass. And the woman behind the plexiglass is fucking coughing, and you're like, "Okay." <laughs> Like to the point where the woman, the other, like there's two women behind the plexiglass, and the other woman's like, and she's like, "Oh, you don't have to worry." Like uh, she made a joke. She made the joke in French. My French is like, it's fine, but it's not for someone who's lived in Quebec his whole life. It's not what it should be. So she made a joke, basically about some shit about the woman, the woman who's coughing, having it, and I laughed, but I don't know what the fuck the joke was. So her coughing, and then the other guy shaking and sweating. I was like, "What the fuck am I doing here, getting tested?" Like, I'm literally, I'm coming to the fucking, like, patient zero section, to the epicenter of this shit. Anyway, good times, you know. 
<laughs> one more year. One more year. We'll, we'll maybe be back tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know, man. Are you getting the vaccine? Um, I want to see how um, how other people how it works for other people first. No, it's not. It doesn't work like that. The way it works is that uh, I'm in the category years, that this, this right? is the way it's gonna work. Ten years from now is when you're gonna know. But that's Ten that's the problem. Now is when you're gonna see the lawyers' commercials saying. If you took the vaccine during 2021, <laughs> you may be entitled to some compensation. But that's that's what I keep. I'm like, how? I you know, you guys have it's operational warp speed that you guys have, and everyone's everyone's approving some shit. And I'm like, there's not enough fucking data. Like the, the thing, there's not enough time has passed to know what the actual side effects will be. Yeah. It's like, do I want to take my chance with a cold that might kill me, or you know, take some, inject myself with some shit that, who the fuck knows what it does? I don't know. It's a tough call, right? Like, which which one's better? Yeah. Right now, I I don't. I I mean, so I, you we, know, we don't, we don't know shit about it. Have you tested it? Like, what do we know about this shit? <laughs> you just got a vaccine now. There's not enough long term data to actually. I mean, honestly, I don't think, I think most likely it's, I don't know, it's probably going to be okay, like, but still, you generally require a little more long-term data. Clinical trials generally last a lot longer than this has. There, there's, there's, yeah. more, there's more, you know, more goes into it than, well, we need it now, so do it now. I mean, you, you don't know, get around it. But here's the thing, Russell. You ever had the flu vaccine? No. Me either. You know what it does to you? And you do you know what it actually is? It's the flu. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually some of the flu. So you can well, build you want your body your body has to build up an immunity to it, so they have to give it to you first. So it's it it once they give it to you, you're gonna get the fucking flu. Well, it's okay. They, they give you a, a, such a small dose, but these vaccines are different. These are protein based. It's a very it's a, it's a different kind of okay, thing. But, uh, it's such a small dose that you're gonna get the fucking flu, Russ. Not no, not always. Your your body is a small enough dose that your body will build your 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 your, <clears throat> your antibodies will start fighting it and build up. An immunity to it before you actually get sick, which is the way it's supposed to. It's a lot of people it. get it. A lot of people get it, and yeah. uh, <clears throat> a lot of people get it. And on the other hand, I can go three years without getting the flu, Russ. Just keep eating peppers. <laughs> Peppers, full of vitamin C. The heat, capsaicin, just kills all kinds of bad cells. It, I'm no, telling. I don't disagree with you. I don't necessarily have any intention of taking um, the vaccine anytime soon. Sure. Like honestly, me and like. I've taken we've t I've been I've taken my precautions from the beginning. I just I don't do shit. I mean I just I, you know and even again I've said this before on this channel whatever the precautions I take I even t I take extra precautions not even necessarily for me but for the people that I happen to maybe come in contact with and it's not very many cuz I don't you know because of everything that's going on but I'm not too worried about getting it because you know, like my girlfriend, well, ex girlfriend now, but we're still like, we're pretty much, we only see each other basically during this whole situation. She's a bit of a hypochondriac. She's a little nervous about things. So precautions were taken. Like we were the first people fucking wearing masks in stores, you know? I wouldn't necessarily do it myself, but 
you know, it made her happy and whatever. And if it makes her happy and it makes other people happy, maybe protects people, I'm going to do it. So, like, like, we fucking take care of our shit. Who's pissing through the pores? What's going on? Anyway. Um, but I'm not too worried. So, it's like I can spend the next whatever amount of time just taking the precautions and whatever. Or maybe take a vaccine that who knows? I'm like, you know. Yeah. Um, well, the, the rumors, you know, don't believe this shit, but I, I've heard the vaccine might make you sterile. No more kids. Are you ready for that? <laughs> if you're ready for that, go for it. No, I'm kidding. I But, yeah, I did hear that, though. I did hear that. You know, but, you know, can you believe all this shit that's going on? I don't even believe. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the, the most issues I've heard come from, like, you know, people with allergies. <clears throat> that is what I've heard. Of, that it's really, it's people that have, like, allergies are having, you know, mild, or medium to severe side effects from the vaccine. Oh, people are getting it already. Oh yeah, the vaccine's been out. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. They're getting here. They, you know. Um, but the thing is, our, our here in Quebec, they're they're fucking shit up because like, so, you know. Uh, the, why is it not an option for for here for New Jersey? Uh, what is? Uh, are we are we, are we uh, giving it to what? Politicians and officials first. Basically, well, no, health. I mean, we're doing it. We're based and we're doing it to frontline workers, healthcare, emergency, whatever, and the elderly are getting it first. I mean, it's they've already. I mean, the problem is in 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 Canada, actually, both Canada and the United States, the rollout for the vaccine has been much slower than they were expecting. It should be going faster, but it's not. Um, and then here, they've decided that. It's supposed to be two doses, right? Like it's one dose three weeks or a month later, your second dose. Quebec's like, we're gonna we're gonna skip the second dose for now and give more people the first dose and then give the second dose later. And Pfizer and Moderna are like, well, we don't have data that that's gonna work. But they're just we're just doing whatever the fuck they want. So everyone's just fucking with shit. This shit's gonna drag on for a while, man. <laughs> yeah. Actually, like between yeah. the South African variant, the UK variant, it's like shit's gonna drag on, man. The South African variant changes the protein, which makes them make the vac vaccine fucking moot. It's pointless. <laughs> hey, why does a why does a computer nerd goes into uh, medicine? Creates a vaccine, right? Am I right? Well, what are we talking about? You're talking about Bill Gates? Bill Gates. Well, Bill Gates, he's a computer nerd, but he's not just a computer nerd, right? Like, you know more than just computer. I mean, he's investing in the things that, that work, right? He's, you, have, you have a lot of money and you're smart. You invest in things, even if it's not your field, you're going to invest in stuff. That, like, I, I, me, I, I have stocks. I have stocks in certain companies. Yeah. So he's, he's not. Uh, so you're saying he's not working on it. He's just investing. That's it. He's just backing the companies that might be that are that are doing it. You know, right. you know, like he. But he is also probably aware of some other things that might be going on. So that so needs to be beam, up, beam me up, Scotty says. When Bill Gates give it to his kids, then I'll consider it. What do you say about that? Um, I think it's, it's a tough call because kids aren't, aren't looked at as priority for this. They, they generally are fine, so most kids won't get the vaccine. I would look at it as like, you know, if Bill, Ga Bill Gates gives it to himself. Yeah, because the uh, kids are considered resistant to the Rona, right? Like they're not. They get it. They get it. They can pass it on, but they don't get a lot of. They don't really suffer from it. Right. But. 
Yes, Tibidin de Bois. Let's go. Another beer. Why not? Well, yeah, I'm on my last beer. I got no more beer after this. It's I don't uh, know we're on the fridge. So I mean, we're already at. I don't <clears> know. What, it's four hours again, man. That's whatever. It's two twelve a.m. Yeah, four hours and five minutes. We've been on here. I gotta go, man. Two two twelve a.m. I gotta be up at. Uh, I gotta be up. I guess around seven because my any of time, man. my appointment my appointment is at nine thirty and it takes me it's not exactly <laughs> my boss <laughs> my boss is asking me to get the appointment at seven thirty half an hour before I start work I'm like. You don't want me to miss one minute of work, do you? <laughs> so I call the clinic. I call the clinic and I said, "Yeah, I work for such and such, and uh, they want an appointment for nine twenty-five. If you have one, <laughs> they, they want me. <laughs> yeah, four thirty, four thirty p.m." Half an hour before I get off work. No, uh, I said, you know, my company wants me to get in a, uh, get a testing uh, bright and early, <laughs> 7.30 a.m. And they're like, oh, no, we don't have, uh, no, we can't, uh, we don't have that time. Uh, so I'm like, okay, what's the earliest? Uh, and uh, it was 9.30. So, you know, he's, I, I looked at the place and uh, they don't even open till eight, but <laughs> he's telling me, he's telling you're, me my you're, coworker. You're your drama, trying to get shit before it opens. So yeah, yeah. But at the same time, he's telling me that my coworker, has an appointment for seven thirty in the same place. <laughs> the shit. I'm like, I'm like, holy shit, man! You, you fucking, you don't want to, you don't want me to miss one minute of fucking work. Good lord, Jesus! <laughs> All right, guys. Good night. Uh, good night, everybody. Russell. Good seeing you as always, man. Of course. And uh, <clears throat> so, if you want, and next week, I, I mean, like I said, I can give some shit away if anything, if you want. Yeah, cool, man. Appreciate that. Uh, whoever's still here that might be back next week, Krista, Krista Cannon. This is a trooper. Uh, I think it's just give her some, give her some shit just for hanging out. She's a trooper. I know, Krista Cannon. Hell yeah. Krista Cannon been here the whole night. Even as I called her Chris before. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just contact us. Contact me anywhere and uh, we'll get it popping. Uh, <clears throat> have a good night, everybody. Thank you very much. Stay safe out there. Don't uh, see you, uh, Rob Schaller. Good to see Rob and Schaller back up in Adam again after uh, his little bout with COVID. You know? Yeah, Rob Schaller. Uh, we've been, uh, yeah, we were, we've been pray for Rob Schaller and we're super glad he uh, bounced out of it and and, you know, in time and good, wasn't uh, wasn't too affected by it. Yeah. And um, thank you very much, guys. Uh, Krista, <laughs> yeah, Krista, contact me. Ch look about uh, about page. Check us out. Uh, Russell already offered some. Something. <laughs>
<laughs> you contact me. If I'm on Facebook or I'm on my YouTube channels. There somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, Russell Stewart Facebook and uh, my. There's somewhere my guy with like a I got like a pepper on my shirt or some shit. I don't know, fucking know. <laughs> yeah, I mean. yeah it's, it's this guy right here. Where are you? It's about material shit. I'm just you know, keep it real. So. Yeah, he's here somewhere. There he goes. There you this, go. It's uh, he's he's doing the Superman thing, and it says S H. I'm assuming that's super hot. Spicy, spicy like, hero, man. That's just whoa, whoa, this guy, this guy. I like this. I mean, I think I'd like to think it says super huge, but it's not what it, it's not what it stands for. Oh, I don't know. I got. I'm, I'm gonna shut up. Super huge. That's like, you know, people are like. People are still waiting for your package. <laughs> that that's, that's, this, says a lot. That, I don't know. That's, that's fair. I understand. But we're in a strange place right now. Between social distancing and, and you know, mail delays, my package, if you want it, you'll get it. But you got to wait for it. But it's going to be worth it. <laughs> it's a good package. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> and you know what? A huge package. It's a weird thing to say. I feel like normally this is this isn't much of a thing you want to tell people, but they're like, "Yes, my package will burn your mouth." So, <laughs> oh shit! Not normally the message you wow. want to pass on, but I don't know. It sounds like. Uh... Sounds like we might need protection, but <laughs> that's not what we're talking about. All right. All right. Good night, everybody. See you guys next week. Hopefully, stay safe and uh, do your thing, social distance, wear your mask, even though, you know, some of us might not care about it. But <laughs> Trust me, it does matter because uh, even though COVID would not kill you, but, you know, they're trying to label us and uh, they're trying to register you. If you if you test positive, you're going to be registered into this uh, category and, uh, you know. Uh, Later, Krista. Peace. This Sorry. could be more than what we see all right guys krista rob schaller uh yeah all right damn you you are smooth russell i could well, we're also on the same great we're somewhere in the same place right all right there you go good night to uh tea Russell said, Marjorie, have a good night, Marjorie. Marjorie, <laughs> always a pleasure. Uh, what is Marjorie saying? Oh my fucking god, to and and Krista said, What the fuck? Wow, that must have been when you started talking about packages, Russell. Sorry about that, guys. Excuse him. I was in the pool. <laughs> Shrinkage. All right. So if your package doesn't deliver, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>